Hello? How loud is the game? Are we good? Are we ballin'? Are we fine? Hi, chat. I, honestly, I'm very warm right now, and I feel like I'm a little too warm. So we'll see how well I do. I may have to run away and change into a t-shirt later. We shall see. I also have like a little bit of a headache because I've been playing Final Fantasy since 10 a.m. because we now have an FC house. So I've spent like the whole day just decorating. <laughs> I've gone to town on our home. I am proud. It's not done. It's still definitely a work in progress. It's still like, you know, being renovated and stuff, but yeah. It looks cute! It looks good! I'll give y'all like a little tour in just a second. Now that I've turned on the camera, I do need to change my shirt. I will be right back. I'm so sorry. I'm... It's really hot in my home today. I'll be right back. I'm a failure! I could be like all the dudes on here who can just stream shirtless. How come they can, but I can't? Why are my boobies sacred and theirs are not? They let dudes stream shirtless? Yeah, my ex used to do it all the fucking time. He would get topless all the time. And just chill. Okay. Alright. Y'all want to see the home? Okay, let me give y'all a little tour -sy. So. So. This is our, this is our home. It's an Imperium. So I'm really happy about that because I've been very stubborn. I didn't want a home anywhere else. It had to be an Imperium. And eventually I'll get my own- I have an apartment here as well, but eventually I'll get like a- like my own uh, house here. But, yeah. In my little home. Here's our home. It's- it's not that fancy outside. We just have some trees. We got a little fountain here that has fruits in it. The Symporium! Not the Symporium! What is the Symporium?! So yeah, this is our home. Over here we have a little, a little chocobo stable area. It's super cute. And then we go inside. It's a medium, um, it's a medium plot. So, we got a decent amount of space. Oh, your room, vet! Also, I hope everybody's doing well today. I hope you're all doing good. What's up, Kenley? What's up, K-Buzz? Hello. How are you, Elise? Hi, Sarah. Hi, Booth. I am feeling better than last night, yes. Um, side effects did not beat my ass too much today. Mark, they were 33 month resub! Thank you! Gamer. The cat frat house. Yes. That is exactly what this is. So this is our little maid servant. She's a cute cat girl because cat girls are the best. Oh my god, she's taller than me. Okay, pretend you didn't see that. So this is like the little like coat room. I want to make it cuter. I want to make it more snug. I might even just turn it into like a message book area. I don't know. But here's the entrance. Didn't decorate it too much. I don't really know what to do yet. I think I might make like a kind of like a cafeteria vibe over here or over here. But most of the most of my effort went into upstairs. Still not done. Okay, it's a work in progress, but I made a little library. I made a little library. 
You can go over here. There's a little nook here. There's a little nook here. You can get up here if you're trying to get a book from a higher shelf. <laughs> and then, lo and behold, through here, we have a very special, little special room back here. Where we all come to worship my boy. <laughs> this is where we go when we... <laughs> When we want to worship my boy, <laughs> my boy. But yeah, I want to make this area a little bit more foresty and also a little bit more magical. So I'm gonna try to get more like books to scatter all over the place, more little like writing nooks and and magical practicing areas you know like that kind of thing but that's all we got so far and then i'll show you the basement yeah the daily prayers to worship on exactly <laughs> really drive home that this is a nerd house exactly see you get me and this down here was girly's idea we're gonna make a little club a little coven club that's what's gonna be over here we have a nook back here as well. Oh. <laughs> We've got a nook back here as well. I thought this is where people could sell drugs because as we all know, Pepper sells weed in Gridania. But um, Dentist also wants this to be his makeout corner. I don't know who he's making out with. Maybe himself. But yeah. So far so good. Look at this. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that, it's all icy, it's all snowy. Whee! There's a little bar. We only have one stool though, I'm so sorry. But we have three stripper poles, cause that's way more important. All right. I'll show y'all my room. I won't peep into anybody else's rooms. But I will show y'all mine. Mine is also still just a work in progress. I got my little my little display my little display case over there. I have cheese because we all know I love cheese. I got my ASMR rain playing. I might turn it into bird song. Who knows? But here's my little room. This is my little nook. It's very cozy. It's very small. And I got a little Moogle bean bag that I like to to put Pepper in when she can nappy. To go take nap. I obviously have my boy over the fireplace because why wouldn't I? I don't really like the fireplace. It's kind of ugly. Uh, maybe I'll find a better one. I'm using the house for Tom one in the main floor, so I don't want to use it up here either. But yeah, that's it. That's it. That's that's our home. Where do I get the cheese? Oh, I don't even remember where I got the cheese. I think from the market board. Have we talked about the Last of Us yet? I think we have. I think we brushed on The Last of Us a little bit. It was so good. I am so excited for next Sunday so we can watch more. I, like, I know what's coming. I've played the game through and through. But ma, oh ma, oh ma, oh ma, they did such a good job. Hi, Capo. I'm all right. I'm fine. I'm feeling a lot better today. Um, the side effects of my medicine have only made me sleepy today. So I'm hoping that when I take my next dose in a couple hours, um, it won't it won't make me all, all fumbly. But we'll see. You know what? Do we, do we like these here? Or should I put them on the side? Is it better here? Like that? Do we prefer this? Is that more of a vibe? How does that look? Mm, no, I like it on the side. Never mind. I played myself. I just played myself. Okay. Neat. Hey. Neat. Hey. Okay. I don't know if they're aligned, but that's fine. Hey, Viper. You just got a house? Yes, we got one today. We all entered the lottery last night. And we won. And now we have a home. 
So if you want to join the FC and have a little apartment in Imperium, you can! You could do that now! Has someone already unlocked a workshop? The workshop in your FC house to start submersible submersible admissions? Yes, I believe it Kenley unlocked that. Do I get it on the market board? Yeah, I think you can, Elise. I have a great decor theme in my mind for my old stuff to room. I can't wait to get it done and show it off. I'm excited to see. Yeah. This is, look at the little location. We got a little gazebo over here. It's so heckin' cute. Look at this. Look at this. I am just, what is this? What is this? Is this just decorative? I think it's just decorative. But look, we got a little gazebo. We can run all the way over here. It's just, it's so pretty. Look, there's our little home. Amazing. Truly amazing. It's a jump puzzle? Oh, it is? Oh! Oh, I'm really bad at these. Okay, wait. Where do I start? Where do I start? Where do I start? Where do I start? Oh! Alright. Pepper's got this. Let's go. Oh, fuck me. Okay. Bitch! A bitch! Uh-uh. Nah, don't embarrass me on stream, Pepper. Come on. Thank you. Good girl. Now, Miss Pepper. Miss Pepper. Meow, 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 meow. Girl, I know you are not a Leap of Faith champion. There we go. And then from here, am I meant to land? Oh, okay. Where do I go from here? It's supposed to. What do I. What do I. J oh, fudge. No! Hep. It's gonna drive me bonkers. Okay. Oh! Ah! <laughs> the new Leap of Faith map fucks me up wholesale. Oh, I love it. I've been, okay, so I spent three hours trying to climb to the top of Kugane. I could not, but it got me really good Leap of Faith practice. And so I have yet to lose a Leap of Faith game. This is an Imperium, yeah. Under the window, that small ledge. Oh, hello! Right here? Okay. Oh, I see, I see. Overshot it. Overshot it. All right, it's not that funny. Okay. Okay. I feel like I could just like walk on that. Let me see. No! No! Girl. Boy! Ooh! 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 <gasps> okay, I see the two pegs there. Do I get on that? This is 
Ward 29, and it's right beside our plot. It's right below our plot, which is plot two. Oh, I guess I could, I guess I could add that into our, our command. Bum, bum, Can someone bump, um, FC and see if it looks okay? I got war 29 and plot 3. No shot! Are you my neighbor? Are you someone that I've said hi to? Because I've been saying hi to everybody! No fucking shot, we're neighbors! Oh, different server! Oh, no, you got me so excited! Nah, nah, you got me so excited! No shot the way. We're neighbors in here. <laughs> All right, chat. I got this. Cheer me on. Cheer Pepper on. Come on. Whoa! <laughs> I'm getting there, I promise. Is this gonna be my whole stream now, chat? Is this it? It might be on the other side? Maybe. Fuck me. Let me see. No, I definitely have to hop on the top pieces. Okay, Dad, this is my entire stream. There's four others here as well. Hi, Ava. Leap of faith for real. We have our own personal leap of faith now. Shout out to the FC. Oh, fuck me. Okay. Pepper's got this. Pepper's got this. There's nothing Pepper can't do. Except love somebody, apparently. <gasps> nah! How far can I go? Okay. Wait a second. Oh. Oh. Okay, that works too. <laughs> I guess I could have just literally walked around. <laughs> All right. I'm coming back around. I'm. Oh. Oh God. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm coming back around. I'm coming around. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. 
All right, we're fine. We're fine. We are not fine. We are not fine, chat. Oh, we're fine. Oh, we're ballin'. Oh, we're game- We're gamers. We're gamers. I got this. I hate it here. I hate it here. That hurt. That absolute. That hurt. Bruh. Bruh. Oh. All right. Okay, we're back. Bro, my hands are so sweaty. Nah, overshot it. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> Enjoying your Assassin's Creed playthrough? I am. You know what? I really am. Uh, chat, you know, I really wanted to do MSQ, but now I'm too stubborn. I have to get to the top. I gotta, I gotta get to the top. I don't think I'm going to, but I'm so determined. Oh no, it hurts. It hurts. like created the jump puzzles in this game I hope they got fired I'm gonna write them a strongly worded letter saying that my hands are sweaty and they need to come dry them me I can't make this jump <gasps> oh my god I'm doing it mom get the camera Sweating. I am sweating.
say a prayer. Say a prayer. Chat, say a fucking prayer. I'm so close. What's up, Ray? Ow! I'm so close. I can taste the victory. But this jump right here, I cannot land. <gasps> okay. Okay. did this let me just let me just let me just take a twig twig take a pick real quick just yes queen dig your ass I did it mm. what would look good up here that stretchies This. That's it. <laughs> Look at my Orshifa! Look at my Orshifa! He's just vibing! Homeboy is just vibing! <laughs> I cannot believe we just spent like 40 minutes of my stream doing this. Oh. No, Miss Girl. <laughs> my controller. Okay. Um. Okay. I guess, I guess we're good. Could I take a better one? Maybe. Perchance? Oh, I'm a- Oh, I did not realize I was my- my reaper right now. Let's see... I could do that. The jump? Hmm. <laughs> I'll do the wave. Okay. I'm not even gonna hide Orshifon, that's just so funny. I'll do it right there. And... 
And then I'll grab another one right here. And then we'll get into the MSQ. Sound good? Yeah. Pepper do got the booty. Pepper's booty do be boobying. Boobying? Bootying. <laughs> Ball. Okay, now I just gotta jump. <laughs> okay. Whew. That was truly a nightmare. Hi, Apple. Hello. Nice digs. I try to insert this pick somewhere. What? I like vertical shots. My stomach drops every time I know. Thank you for the head pats. Mucho apreciato. Okay. Guess what time it is, chat? MSQ time. Ooh. Okay. What am I doing? MSQ. Right. Should I do Reaper? No, we'll stay as Dark Knight for a bit until we actually get into Endwalker. Alright, no, 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 I did not mean to do that. Journal. Alright, a grand adventure. So we're going all the way back to the first. I'm excited! Rio, welcome to the coven. I hope you're about your most and your steak. Am I sweating already? It didn't take you too long? I know, I am surprised. Normally it takes me a very long time to do jump uh, jump puzzles, but honestly I think I've gotten better because of the, the hell that I put myself through. Cat climbing on top of things is a classic, very true. I'm just playing my part, you know? I had visions of it taking hours. I truly thought that it was gonna take way longer. Knowing me and my experience with Kugane, You just have to know how to flick, flick the thumbsticks, you know? Ooh, one of these days, I think we're gonna have a very cozy, comfy, chill, no energy, um, etherite current or ether current, um, questline stream. So I can try getting all the ether currents so I can fly around here. Cause I hate not being able to fly. But I guess it makes for good, um, I guess like RP. Chat, how are we all doing today? What's everybody up to? How y'all doing? What'd you do today? Honestly, all I did today was play Final Fantasy XIV. I actually did eat some food though, and it wasn't takeout, so I'm very proud of myself for that one. Didn't waste any money. Puppy didn't really want to go on any long WALKs in case he hears me. So it did kind of suck to be inside for the most part, but... If he doesn't want a W, I'm not gonna force him. Where I came home, napped after getting my gill back, and woke up like 30 minutes ago, meant to be. Perfect timing. I'm glad you were able to get your gill back. Yeah, it was super confusing figuring out whose gill was whose. Because I remember you and I were supposed to trade. And then we did, but I put it away, so I didn't remember, like, who took it from you? Or, like, who took it from me, I guess? You can have dreams of decorating my room and praying to Orshvon, as you should. This is the way. Horns didn't know how to click the placard again to get the gill from losing the bed. No! I'm glad you were able to guide her at the very least. That's why I pinged the FC in Discord. Bless you. Yeah, thank you for paying that because I forgot to also like inform people to get their shmoney back. Is this a comfy stream? Of course it's a comfy stream. We're playing the MSQ right now, so there may be some tears that need to be shed, but we will, we will see. 
Ah, oh, yes, weed. Maybe I should be dealing my drugs in this place. I love seeing all the little side quests. I want to do them so bad. But I cannot! I have a mission to do! Weed, sullen, and brick. Amazing. Truly amazing titles. Oh, I got a hair in my eye again. Alright, speak with the Crystal Exarch in Sullen. Alright, well I've made it. I don't even remember what we were doing last. Oh, we're trying to get their bodies back, right? Oh shit, music. As I told you before, I had scarcely set foot on the Pulse Grounds when I was set upon by our host familiars. And I expect our reception stay to be no different. Which is why I propose you march through the main gate, weapon strong. Wait, what? I'm sorry, but are we not here to petition for assistance? You can't honestly think I'm think barging and looking for a fight is going to persuade them. Actually, I believe the extract may have the right of it. They have no doubt poured a great deal of time and energy into their creations. Were I them, I should be most interested to meet with those who could overcome my defenses. Oh, we're meeting more fey folk, right? Oh, the music's loud? All right, I'll fix it after this. It is actually very loud. My ears are fucking ringing. As would any true seeker of knowledge, and there's little we can say or do to convince them to help us if we know nothing of their character nor less why they chose to hide themselves from the world. But if we can seize their interest, mayhap we can earn ourselves an audience. I feel like a duty is coming up with this music. Oh, not him doing the same thing as me. Weapons drawn it is. Weapons drawn it is then. But well, I must say, Exarch, you certainly seem to be enjoying all of this. Do I? Well, I will not deny that I enjoy the thought of fighting alongside you all rather than pacing around inside the crystal tower. Why do I love him? You both seem to be in rather high spirits, if you ask me. Not that I'm surprised. Your mood's invariably improved when Pepper is around. Oh! My simps! Uh, what exactly are you implying? She averted a calamity, and the light which seemed destined to consume her has been extinguished. It's really natural that we'd be pleased to see her. Uh-huh. Aha! Uh -huh, my two little simpies! My two little babies! Yes, well, you will have plenty of time to celebrate her good health after we've finished here. Uh, of course. Then let's proceed to the palace. I cannot ever tell the difference between Alize and Alfino, even if I notice the color of their clothes. Their hair is parted a different way, and Alize's lip color is different. Alright. Ooh, are we getting a dungeon, vibes? We've got a dungeon to do, it seems. All right, I guess I'm doing it alone. Also has a slightly smaller face, does she? Does she? Yeah, they're basically flipped. All right, is anyone gonna join me? Or should I just brave it on my own? All right, let's see who is up right now that can join before I haul in randoms. I can lock on a join if you need someone just a four man, so I'm sure it'll fill up quick. Yeah, I'm sure. But I like doing these with friends. It's fun. Oh my god, Action Star Jones. We have to show Action Star Jones our home, chat. I'm gonna lurk, so won't be providing any inspiration this evening. All right, Squirrel, thank you for lurking. I appreciate it. All right. Hi, Ken Coldblood, how are you? Is anyone in chat someone that I have in my party that I can that I can add? Is there anyone here? Crystal Silock, I wonder if they announced anywhere why. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know why. Because literally just the other day, I was making a slew of alt accounts on Goblin. Elizabeth? Got you. 
Wow, Lizzie is little Elizabeth. Okay, perfect. Alrighty. Is it, oh, the Grand Cosmos? Is this it? Oh, it looks so pretty. Oh, I'm excited, babes. I'm really excited. Are we good? Are we ready? Is this the party? We ball? We bowl? Let's go. Hi, Brave! Hello! Uh, I am... I am delightful. I'm excited to be playing MSQ right now. I've missed it. I've missed it so much. Doing the Eden quests were fun, but... Hey, Jay! <laughs> oh my god. What's up? What's good? What is this jolly music? Did you value your lives? We'll quit this place at once. Now be gone with you. Um, I don't think so. Ooh, are these knights gonna come alive? <laughs> Alright, can I do a bigger pull or is it gonna cut me off here? Oh, I can keep going. I see. Oh, there's gonna be a big guy in here. Wake up! Wake up, bitch! Oh, someone is not aggro. Who is an aggro? Which one of y'all is it? Grand Cosmos? Alright. Now we go in. Now we do it. And we do it properly. Ow, my head. Ow. <laughs> you don't have to vote abandon? Oh. Well, it's too late. Okay. Now we go in. Oh, it better give me my fucking cutscenes. It better not take those cutscenes away from me. Mm-mm. God. It's a character can fit, right? It's a fear. I know it probably won't. Only it'll probably only skip the first one, but still. Okay. Now we go. Now we go. That's better. That's better. That's way better. That's so much better. Okay, let's go. Come on, big guy. Don't worry, I go on, 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 I Now we go. It's a broom. Look how they make a mess of my floor. Swish and flick, my lovelies. <laughs> Swish and flick. It's, am I gonna have to fight brooms? No. <laughs> More knights? Oh. 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 Okay. I'm sorry. What the fuck are you? Oh my 
my god, they're so they're so funny looking. I fear that I may love them. Can I get one of these as a minion? Also, Miss Ma'am? Wait, what happened? What's wrong? Are the sound effects too high? It's fine for me. I'm okay with this. Okay, I'll go this way. And this way. Where are yours? Oh my ears! Oh my cat ears! <laughs> Give me one second. I forgot my MSQ ears. I was so caught up. I was so caught up in my my little uh, jump puzzle that I forgot to put on my ears. Does this happen to correlate the Sonic system plate? Compl complain? All right. Well, now that I know it's only Sarnix that's complaining, I'm putting my audio back to the way it was. Just a little higher. All right. Let me put my cat ears on, babes. I like it like that. Well, if you have a problem with my audio, I haven't changed it since I started playing. It's how I like it, so either suck it up or you can you can leave. How could you hear all this time? Magic. Truly magic. But now I can hear even better. <laughs> Satisfied is the only person I know that is still playing Summoner. And you know what? Kudos to them. Kudos to them. Sometimes I miss playing Summoner. I really want to level it up. Hell yeah. We did the thing. Oh, what's the Oh, it's so pretty! Warbring of healing? I'll try greeting it. Whatever. Oh, it's so- It's so pretty! It's so bright! Oh, no, no, I'm not hating on Summoner. I was a Summoner main. I was a Summoner main, but then I got bored of it, and then it just so happened that it beautifully aligned with, um, my character's lore. She, uh, she swapped over to Dark Knight, and it's just so- Oh my god, the little piggies! The little piggies! Oh my god, the little piggies! I don't want to hurt them. I'm 
Bushies? Hello, Victory Bell and Ivysaur? What's up? What's up, bro? Can I continue to pull it? Do I just go straight? I do. More piggies! Bigger piggies! Little piggies and bigger piggies! No, my heart! My heart! This is so mean!
dead. He's dead. Mommy's dead. Alright, let's go. Oh, ooh, look at that statue! Oh! The garden is ruined! Ruined! Oh, it's so pretty. Am I fighting it? Oh, it's so cute! It's so cute. Can I just can I pull it? Is there something else? Up here? Will there be another one up here? I don't know. You know what? Oh, more piggies? Take it to the pigs. Oh, the pigs have come to us? Oh, the, the pigs? The pigs are not even aggroing me? This corner? Okay, that's a little better. Sad. This is so ominous. <laughs> Found him. We have sullied these halls long enough. Come, Lugus. Our guests yet want for company. Literally looks like came straight out of Star Wars. What is he summoning? Are they sexy? The insatiable Look, I'm just saying, hear me out, chat. Hear me out. <laughs> okay. Go get Lugas. <laughs> Oh, 
light the furniture on fire? Thank you for pulling me. Is that what I have to do? Not the furniture! Furniture's expensive these days! Have you seen the prices on Wayfair? Ikea ain't cheap anymore, babes! the order. marker on use blackest night okay i'll keep that in mind i know i keep forgetting to use that ability and like by default i'll use like edge of darkness or whatever and then i sit there and i'm like fuck <laughs> fuck <laughs> oh. every time i waste my np i just kind of sit there and i just <sighs> Thanks for letting me heal you. Of course, of course, babes. Of course. 
Servus. That was my fiercest familiar. Oh, impressive. I don't like that voice at all. Are they sexy? Are they sexy? Oh, oh, it's one of them! It's those puppies! Hi! Backlog, tis good to see you again after all these years. And judging by your vigorous greeting, I dare say the feeling is mutual. To be sure, a simple shake of the hand would have sufficed by way of welcome, but I shan't complain. But you must be wondering as to the purpose of our visit. We come to beg your Why assistance in like a most Rahatia urgent matter. Why does it look like always has like a cold sore? It looks like he has cold sores. Sh shake? <laughs> beg? Our comrades' very souls are in danger. If we are to save them, we will need the benefit of your unsurpassed knowledge on the matter. Please, will you not sit and hear our plea? I love how they have to talk to them oh, like dogs. how dare you? How dare you speak thus in my presence? Oh my god. I'm it so was to sorry. escape such words of temptation that I hid myself from you the world of men. You are sinners, one and all. Oh my god. I swore never again to have any part in your affairs. I can only imagine what terrible events forced you into a life of seclusion. But I know that the Numo are a good and noble folk. It is not in your nature to turn a blind eye to the plight of those around you. And in treating with us, I am certain whatever mistrust you feel for man will begin to heal. I just want to be talked to like everybody else. If you will not be satisfied, oh, I oh, suppose I could listen. After all, there's no harm in just... No, 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 I mustn't. Not again. Mustn't what? That damn court maid seemed to have the best of intentions too, and countless innocents died for my naivety. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry to hear that. Oh, you know not what you ask of me. What horrors my knowledge has wrought. Here's all you want. We won't lie down and accept defeat. We would never misuse it. You mean the magical plague of Bober? Yeah. Clarification. Monica bought it for sure, I want to show? You know of the plague? Then you know how dangerous Soulcraft can be! Instead of saving your friends, you risk damning them. Are you sure you're willing to take that chance? I'm sure. I'm so sure about that. Oh. No. <laughs> oh. Let me get cozy. Oh. Very well. I will hear your petition, but that is all. And I expect fitting payment for my troubles. Payment? Commensurate with your contribution to our cause. No more and no less, I promise you. With that settled, might I impose upon you to join us at the Crystarium? Man. Grazie I'm afraid the nature of my friend's predicament calls for absolute for secrecy. Those cold sores. God damn. I do like his hair. I do may have a 
small crush on Grahatia, but now I'm scared because that means he's gonna die. <laughs> he fucking better not. I already, I already went through that hell of thinking that he was gonna die. He better not. Okay, I'm gonna change my audio a smidgen. Bring it up a bit more. There you are. The others have gone ahead to the Crystal Tower with Beck Lug. For the record, I truly wish we hadn't we hadn't had to resort to using such words when treating with them. I have ever sought to convince, not compel. They cannot deny that a part of me is glad Orion Jay shared his knowledge of the new Mao. Or the new moon, a Mao, I don't remember how to pronounce it, with us. Had he not, Beck Lug wouldn't be here. Speaking of whom, we should hurry. To keep our guests waiting would only add insult to injury. So true, bestie. R.I.P. Grahatia 2023 to 2023. He dabbed between my bun girl's thighs, as he should. You may now enter the Grand Co Cosmos. Oh yeah, the trust system. I forgot about that. Okay. Yeah, thanks y'all for joining me on the little dungeon. That was a lot of fun. All right, a welcome guest. Alvina looks just about ready to leave you behind. Ayo? We mustn't dally here longer, Pepper. If Beck Lug is to hear the truth of our travails in the first, you of all people should be present. So true, bestie. Okay, let me just like fix my hands. This fate has been sealed when Sarah opened her mouth. I'm sorry! I'm sorry! I don't want him to die! But if that is what must happen, because I like him, then so be it. Then so be it. Hi, Grandma! How are you? It's nice to see you. Hello. Okay. My ears are a little bit wonky today. Look at them. I am anxious bean, but I'm gonna make it. Why are you anxious? What's going on, Jima? Nervous about Prague? And all the things to come? Booking international travel last minute is hard. I can only imagine. Oi! Peppa! Come back here, babes! Yeah, I can only imagine. Chat, I've got a confession. I've got a headache. What is, what the fuck is my, my part? Hey Jay, it's nice to see you. I started loving Gratia seals his fate, then he dies well. You know what, it is a good way to die. Dying because I love you, bet. So I do have some more side quests that I need to do, but we're not gonna focus on them. I think next week we'll do side quests and crafting streams only, and then after next week we'll return to MSQ. We're gonna take it very slowly. You looking bright? Thank you. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not feeling that hot. I'm very tired, I have a migraine, but I'm not feeling nauseous and stuff like last night, which is really good. Progress, I guess. Let me drink some water. Oh, how come the light's dimming? Why is it getting dark? I'm sorry? You mean to tell me not only that the return of night was your doing, but that you hail from another world as well? Yeah, I know. It's a lot to take in. I'm pretty impressive. Everything we told you, of the source, the shards, the seven umbral calamities, all of it is true. 
I realize how fantastical it sounds, and I would not blame you for doubting our testimony. But given your expertise, you must surely have noted the peculiar nature of their souls. Hmm? Any other time and I would have dismissed your stories as balderdash and flummery. But upon closer inspection, it is plain their souls are far denser than is normal. Just like my and head. They do not possess true bodies. No, oh, they can pick that up. Save you. Mm -hmm. Your body is your own. Damn right. And your soul is the densest of them all. As I said before, were it not for their heroism, the skies over Norvrant would still be awash with light, the realm yet at the mercy of Vorthri and the Sin Eaters. After all they have done for our home, seeing them safely back to their own, it seems the very least we can do. Help. I don't want my friends to die out here. Hmm. I know we're working Your on tale more, is like, intriguing. Yes, very intriguing indeed. Simply to hear it is fitting payment in itself. Hell yeah! No side quest. <laughs> As for your friends, I can but agree. Their valorous deeds on behalf of Norvrant are deserving of recognition. Of their own fitting payment. You will help us then? I will. I would see my knowledge put to good use for a change. Yay! I do have one condition, however. I am not the spry young Numo I once was. As such, I will require assistance in my fieldwork and testing. Bruh. It would be our pleasure. We'll be laboring for our own benefit after all. Yeah, but we're always laboring, Alf, you know. Well? Well, I know, homie needs some Vicks. They need some fucking Buckleys, man. Sorry being responsible for the death of another one of her Simpsons very much like her, her M.O. What's my M.O.? What's an M.O.? I know, they're, just, they're so congested. They, I need to get them some Vicks. What is modus operandi? What is that? What is that? Why am I getting a dub? What is Olbas oil? What is Olbas oil? Oh, how I do things generally? <laughs> oh, well, you know, I guess that checks out then. Oh wait, <laughs> hold on, Jay. Are you saying Olba's oil like a thing for congestion, or are you, or I don't know. Chat is just speaking a whole lot of different spells right now. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Olba's oil's gotta be British? Nah, that's some like Polish, Ukrainian stuff right there. Yeah, Buckley's is Canadian. Okay. You have spun quite a tale. Sorry. Let me do the voice. You have spun quite a tale. But tell me, have you given any thought as to how you might return to your world? Oh. Oh, 
white urasite, you say. An intriguing proposition, but one which fails to account for the present state of your souls. Ooh, dude, that makes me want to vomit. They have become highly charged, likely as a consequence of having maintained tangible forms for so- I'm not doing it for so long. In such an energetic, unstable state, <laughs> there is no telling what may happen to their souls within the aura site. They could very well become immutable to transference, never to be restored to their bodies. Oh no. But I mean, it's worth a shot, right? Would it be possible to force our souls into a state of dormancy prior to transference? Or transference, I guess. In theory, yes. But the soul is not a candle to be stuffed out and relit on a whim. Well, that sounds ominous. What exactly would rending our souls dormant entail? In order to maintain a corporeal form, your souls constantly draw ether from your surroundings. This process must be halted, and the resulting uh, surfeit? Surfeit? The resulting surfeit of ether removed. Your minds would ultimately be separated from these faux bodies of yours, rendering you incapable of interacting with the world around you. Cruel fate under normal circumstances, but one which will be rectified upon your return home. That sounds really risky. I'm very scared. I'm very scared that someone is gonna die on their way back to the source, and I'm not ready. I'm not ready for it. Leaving lifeless husks. Like those poor souls be in at Journey's head, corrupted by sin eaters, their ether made stagnant by the light. Corrupted? Stagnant? Might I see these unfortunate individuals? Why? Do you think you might be able to help them? I might, or I might not, but I shan't know for sure until I have seen their condition firsthand. Then I'd be glad to take you to them. On the understanding that you won't do anything which might increase their suffering. It was my faith in men I lost, not my compassion. I've also lost faith in men, don't worry. Well, I see no need for all of us to accompany you. While you escort our guests to the inn, I will assist Urianje in creating the requisite orosite. I believe my talents would be better applied to that endeavor as well. Might I lead the three of you to assist Beck Lug as necessary? Are y'all speaking another language in my chat? You know that's not allowed. <laughs> so cool seeing fellow Indians playing Final Fantasy. Hell yeah. A lot of, I feel like a lot of the people that I know that play Final Fantasy are all like minorities. It's pretty great. See, yeah, how's Waldo? Waldo's good. He's taking a nappy right now. Let's make for Amarang then. Alrighty. I guess that's where we're going. I guess we're gonna go see if this little this little friend of ours can go save some poor unfortunate souls. Okay, where are we going? All over there. How did I know? How did I know what? That Waldo's asleep? I forgot what I said, I'm sorry. <laughs> I forgot everything that I said. Oh my god, Tangerine Kid! So this is Halric, is it? Yes, his etheric balance leans perilously towards light, towards stasis. Would you suppose what will happen to him? Not too bright, are you, boy? The same as all poor souls corrupted by the light. He will become a Sin Eater. You don't know that. We've defeated the Wardens and banished the light from the night sky. Halric was completely unresponsive before, but now? Then perhaps there is yet hope. Hmm. If I may, there is a treatment I wish to administer to the patients. What sort of treatment? In the course of my studies of the soul, I once created a tonic which could temporarily stimulate the ether in one's body. After some refinement, it came to be used by the Knights of Vobert, and for far darker purposes. Lest it fall into the wrong hands, I swear never again to make it, but for their sakes, I will break that oath. It is not like to reverse. Wait, hold on. 
It is not like to reverse a stagnation, mind you, but it should offer some measure of relief. Alright, so I'm guessing they want me to get materials. Yeah, treat the pay. Oh no, they're giving it to me and they want me to treat them. Okay. Who is this blonde leather daddy? Who is blonde leather daddy is this? Hello? I don't think I've ever seen a blonde person in this game that wasn't a cat girl. <laughs> okay. No, oh, are we both doing the exact same thing? <laughs> Tonic stares blankly at you. It would seem the tonic has had no effect. Oh no. Okay, what about Pano? Hmm? What is this warmth I feel in my chest? <gasps> I worked on Pano, I think. Okay. You don't want me to put any on Holrick? You want me to put it on, on Voin? Alright, let's go see Voin. Was born another child? Come now, you mustn't fret. I I feel warm, and my legs they feel as heavy. <gasps> it worked. They did the thing. Oh, okay. Let's go back here. Oh, seen twin vibes. Tharnix, what did I say? What did I say? Now then, have you noted any change in the patients? The normal rise in body temperature and increased motor function. In most of the patients, at least. The more severely afflicted show no response. They're too far gone? As I feared then. It's true that, it is true that with the restoration of night, the corrupting influence of light will no longer grow. And yes, their bodies will naturally return to equilib equilibrium, given time. But this holds true only for their corporeal ether. Their incorporeal ether, that the soul, is not so easily meant. Which is why those in the later stages of corruption, like Halric, appear unaffected by your tonic. No! Precisely. No! The boy's soul is too far gone. His mind held together by the finest of threads. There's a chance he may one day recover, of course, but it could take years, decades even. By the gods, he could wake to find himself an old man. A fine reward for his persistence, the opportunity to mourn the life he never had a chance to live. Oh. No, there must be something we can do. Look, I realize this is not why we petitioned your aid, but do you think it it possible we can find a way to hasten their recovery? Maybe. Nor do I think it impossible than it, than in Nor do I think it impossible that in treating them we might learn something of relevance to your own predicament. Alrighty, I mean I guess progress is progress, right? Hero and Sid in shambles right now. <laughs> The true leather daddies. Good for the soul. Beck Lug is ready to speak of the metaphysical. It's so nice having everything be like a cutscene of some sort. I suspect the Crystal Exarch has told you of my past, that I want that I was once a mage of the royal court of Vobert, and that Soulcraft was my field of study. The tonic I administered to the patients here is one of the fruits of my labors. I hope to do great things for the kingdom. In the end, my knowledge brought only suffering, plague the like of which none had ever seen, in the hands of an un unscrupulous man. Scrupulous? Yeah, of unscrupulous men. What should have been my greatest triumph instead became my greatest shame. You mustn't dwell on the past, and now you have a chance to redeem yourself as the warriors of life brought those responsible to against us. Yeah, now you have a chance to redeem yourself. I saw that I was a good that I do. A comforting thought indeed. But let us return to the task at hand, finding a means by which we might revitalize his people's incorporeal ether. Do you think it can be done? Were the sky still ablaze with primordial light, I would call it an exercise in futility. But now, we may have a chance. The method I have in mind will entail the conjuring of a familiar. They're able to amplify the energies poured into them, making them the perfect conduit for the ether revitalizing magics we will ultimately employ. 
If you're about to launch into a lengthy explanation of the metaphysics of your plan, don't bother. Thank you! I'd rather get on with doing whatever it is that needs to be done if it's all the same to you. Whatever regions must be procured or spells invoked, I'll do it. We're of the same mind. I admire your spirit. Very well. Your first task will be to gather the necessary materials. The purest of waters and finest of clays, as well as a fey lantern brimming with pixie magic. If you're convinced the resulting familiar could help the patients, fine. Alfie, now, the water and clay will be simple enough, but I think you know what we'll have to do to get the lantern. You don't mean... Pixies took quite a liking to us before. If you humor them with our company, I'm sure they'll be willing to help us. Fine. We'll pay a visit to Ilmeg. Though I never thought you would be the one to suggest going back there. I'm impressed you've been there at all, let alone befriended the Fey folk. Oh, while you're about it, speak, uh, seek out the Numao of Pla Eni. They will be able to supply you with water suitable for our needs. Right. Let's get this over with, shall we? Aww, fetch quest! There still remains a matter of the clay. Might it prevail upon you to find it? Oh, thank God! Oh my God, they're only making me do one thing and not everything? God bless. Y'all ever have that nap that leaves you more tired? Yes. Almost every nap that I've been having over the last few days has been killing me. Play from Amarang would likely be best. Know of anyone who might be able to assist us? I could ask the miners at Twine. Well, there are the scavengers of Mordsuk. I guess the scavengers. Scavengers, you say? Well, they may not alive the land, but I dare say they are more interested in the trinkets and baubles hiding in the earth and the earth itself. Okay, so miners. So let's go see the miners! What's that? You know the miners of Twine? Perfect! Speak with them and you should have... Of course the miners would be better. I'm so dumb. Um, and you should have no trouble procuring what we need. While you and the twins are occupied, I will see if there is aught else I can learn of stagnation which afflicts the people here. Hell yeah. Bro, I'm so comfy right now. I got my legs up on my desk. I'm just vibing. This feels so good. But I will be honest. I am fucking tired. I've only been live for an hour and 45 minutes, and I'm like, I'm pooped. I've been playing this game all day. All freaking day. You love this for me? I love this for me too. I like being comfy. It's helping with my headache a little bit. My daddy. Pepper! Well, what a coincidence. Oh no. You've come at a great time. We just finished this moment. We've just this moment finished repairing the Talos and trolley you, you lot took to Nabatha Ring. The trolley was no trouble, but the Talos would have been another matter had we not had a visit from Master Chai. He offered us a share of the leftover building materials from Daedalus, from Daedalus Stoneworks, as well as a few trade secrets to help us along. Clever man, that China's. He seemed pretty keen on the ideas I had for putting the giant Talos to work. Like a giant trolley, but Magnus still refused to see all the good we could do with it. You're entitled to your dreams, Jarek, but that doesn't mean you can go harassing our guests with them. Master Tri was just being polite. Something tells me Pepper here didn't come all this way to talk about trolleys. What is it you need, friend? Oh, thank god they're not making me do a side quest. I really thought they were gonna make me do a side quest. Um, excuse me, Mr. Heartburn, can you please l leave Elise alone? Thank you! I see, and this familiar requires clay from Amarang. Well, look no further. If anyone can find you some quality clay, it's us. Saying that, it isn't exactly a commodity nowadays. There must be some lurking somewhere or other waiting to be dug up. If I'm not mistaken, there's a time when they used to take clay from mountain from Mount Byron Mines. Buran? Buran? Mount Buran Mines to make adobe brick of bricks. Oh my god, I can't speak right now. Place is swarming with coyotes now, but if you're after the good stuff, you could do worse than to look there. Wait. I have to go get it myself? I have to fetch it? You want me to fetch? Wait, what is this? Gemstone trader? Hold on, that's an interesting exclamation mark. I haven't seen one like that before. Or I feel like I have, but not in a while. 
Hello. Very well, you can do this, Halden. Ahem. <clears throat> Give me your bicolored gemstones. Oh, that's what I meant. I meant I have stuff. Things. That I could trade you. Does that sound good? Me. You may not trade with Holden. Sick. Oh, I have 22. A riding map. Skin, fleece. Interesting. Very cool. Very cool. Thank you. All right. Oh my god, I have to go all the way up there. Oh, do I have to take the trolley? Please don't tell me I have to take the trolley. Please don't tell me I have to take the trolley. I think I have to take the trolley. Let's see, how do I how do I get there? Oh, can I just walk? Can I just walk on this? Please. I guess it would be faster to take the trolley if I can. Can I? Can I? Can I not? Oh, trolley operator. So heading south are you? No, I am not heading south. I'm trying to go here. Are you fucking kidding? I have to walk? Oh my god. Well, here I go. <laughs> not me stop. Not me stopping doing dishes. I thought someone named Hartford was harassing Elise in chat. <laughs> no, 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 no. The only heartburn harassing Elise is her is her actual heartburn. Riding map makes makes you go faster. Oh, does it? Okay, so maybe I should try farming for that then. Bruh. Pepper has a booty because she walks everywhere. I have to walk. <laughs> Look, because Pepper has walked everywhere, now she no longer wants to. Pepper's legs and booty are thick enough as it is. They don't need to get any thicker, okay? That's her predicament. Eh. Clay? Did I find the clay? Hello? XP bonus! You know me! I love my boosted XP, baby! Oh. I'm a little low level for this. But you know what? We ball. What is it? Long legged terrors are a species of flightless predatory birds. So they want me to kill these. Oh, I'm not trying to kill a cow. Oh god. Hello? Game? I do not know how to play the game being like completely honest. Like that's also fine. I changed my Dragoon Hopper and I don't like it. quest do not kill me don't kill me that's so good okay let me uh, yeah. let's go, let's go. 
Let's go grab our clay. Isn't so much time here killing those goats? Crafting problems? You're murdering the goats? Kelsey, how could you do that? Oh, Dakar, it's nice to see you. What's up? Half my money is from my retainers gathering shit for me. Tisk tis, Sarnax. Just collecting servants all over the place? Disgusting, truly. Despicable behavior. I need their skin? What if someone said that about you? And that they needed your skin? You're gonna be okay with that? Shame on you! If they really needed my skin, I'd give it to them because I'm generous? No, that's because you're Canadian. That's because you're Canadian, Kelsey. Uh, doing good, just getting on Final Fantasy 14. I got a story to catch up on. Ooh, are you... I'm assuming you're doing, like, the, um, the new patch content? When you directly benefit from my methods? Yeah. Who was it who didn't say that we owed them money, but then the second that it was their bid that won, they're like, by the way, you guys have to pay me back, even though they're Mr. Moneybanks and we're all poor? Capitalism, but also give me my money. <laughs> the twins have returned and in one piece at that. I was convinced the pixie I'm so fucking glad that they only made me get clay. This game has gotten so much better with fetch quests. The twins have returned and in one piece at that. I was convinced the pixies would turn at least one of them into a garden ornament. But no. Not a garden ornament. You have the clay, I take it? Yes. Take your clay. Wonderful. We need but combine the clay and the water, and then heat the mixture with the Fey Lantern. After that, it will be a simple matter of settling upon a suitable form and performing the necessary in incantation. So they mean- like, are they melting the lantern? Or is it like the Fey juice? Becklug, I have a question. In the event that we n had need of the spell and you weren't around, would it be possible for another to perform the incantation? Assuming they possess the requisite skill? Yes. Palric and the others have suffered so much, and I swore to do everything in my power to save them. If there's a chance the spell could do that, I would be the one to invoke it. Hmm, maybe you should be the one to do so. Deep understanding of the subject's physical state, combined with a strong desire to help them, could drastically increase the magic's effect. That's how that works. And you are plainly more familiar with these people than I. I dare say, there are few in all of Norvan more dedicated to finding a cure. Is that not so, Pepper? Absolutely, she's the best one for the job. I'll give it my all for Holric. For Tesleen! Oh, Tesleen! I love that girl too. That posture is so comfortable. I am literally so comfy right now. I am so comfy. I am just suffering emotionally and mentally. I mean, I also asked for my 19 mil back. Yeah, but you asked up front. You're like, as long as I get it back. Darnix didn't say shit, so we're like, all right, bet. Then we are all of a mind in the matter. Elise shall be the one to conjure the familiar. I love this for- I'm so scared. They have been like, gassing up Alize and me for so long that now I think she's gonna die. If she fucking dies, chat, I will literally never play this game again. They better Let not take her from begin. me. They better not- Do not smile, chat! They do not smile! I mean, do not smile! Don't do this to me! I trust you've prepared the clay? Very good. Now, I would have you sculpt for me a porksy. What? Plump, with floppy ears and a short curly tail. Is it a puppy? A porksy. I think I know what you mean. Is it 
like a little puppy? What is it? There we are. How, how's that? Oh, those thingies! <laughs> well, it is certainly creative. <laughs> There's no denying that. <laughs> Alfie knows she's gonna whoop your ass. Alfie knows she's yes, gonna yes, whoop I'm no your artist. Ass. Very funny. <laughs> Pay him no mind, child. Though it may look like a grotesque parody of reality, it is what the invoker believes that matters. Oh, Alize, baby girl. It's really You're good. You're not I, helping. It's really good, I promise. But I speak the truth. If successful, this incantation will turn imagination into reality. Oh? Which is why the only That's thing of import boy. is what you believe this figure embodies. You must focus. Hold the Porksy's image steady in your mind's eye. Now then, as I taught you, relax and allow your energies to flow. He was getting cooked in the court cool RTs. Your thing, girl. With flesh of clay, I bid thee rise. On wings of dreams to touch the skies. What once was idle fantasy, I call forth to reality. Bars. You got bars. Not bad for a first attempt. Now, let us see what can be done for young Halric. No, Becklug is they them as well. Um, Kelsey, at least I'm pretty sure. Look at the kids, little... Through the operation of the magics you invoked to animate this familiar, it is now replete with the energies required to stir the boy's soul. Am I gonna cry? Is this gonna you be You need but give it a name, so and scared. it will do as your heart desires. Name it Poopyhead. Name it Cowabunga. A name. All right, I've decided. Now. I don't know, what did she pick? What did she name it? Go, Angelo! Angelo? You picked the name Angelo? That's what you picked? Angelor. Angelor! Angelor, do your thing. Is it not working?
talk to him? Am I gonna get a dot dot dot? Probably. Not there. Ow. Oh. How is he backlog? Did it work? I believe it did. You and your fledgling familiar have done well. Oh shit! If my eyes did not deceive, a hint of color has returned to his soul. Oh shit! Thoughts of a jump of joy if I weren't so exhausted. So close now, Halrit. As you are even now in the process of discovering, this magic asks much of the invoker. What you may not have realized is that the same is also true of the subject. As such, we must proceed with caution. However, with further treatment, I have the utmost confidence the boy will make a, further, make a full recovery. Observing the reanimation of his stagnant soul has been most enlightening. It will need time to put my theories to the proof, but I believe I can fashion a spell to produce the opposite effect, that is, to induce stagnation, thus enabling our safe transport back to the source via Orosite. Precisely. A thought occurred to me about this treatment. Becklug said when the soul is rendered dormant, the mind is separate from the body, the person becomes incapable of interacting with the world around them. Does that not sound a lot like some of the tempered back in the source? Not really. It is the fate of most tempered to become slaves to primals. They've been a handful of cases. Or am I missing something? If I can master this technique, the art of revitalizing the soul, I know of at least one in the source who could desperately use such treatment. All I can think of is like the snake girl. is uncannily similar to Halric's, is it not? The only difference being that his soul was suffused with earth expected ether instead of light. It follows that if his soul is subject to a similar kind of stagnation, there may be a chance we can save him, right? Not Gobble! Not Gobble! I cannot face Gobble! I am not ready to face Gobble! Forgive me, but who is this Gabu fellow of whom you see of whom you speak? I see. His condition does sound similar, yet there is much and more about the soul that remains unknown, even to me. I say this not to discourage you, you understand, but to remind you that this is delicate work we do here, work requiring patience. Of course! And as long as there is hope for the patients here, I will devote whatever time is needed to see this through. But I refuse to spend that time in idleness. If it's all the same to you, I'd like to stay here with Angelo and continue with their treatment. The two of you should return to the Crystarium with Becklug and see if you can't make some headway with their newly pos uh, posited? 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 Posited theories. I would tell you to rest first, but I see you're not to be convinced. Ah, fire of youth. Let us return to the Crystarium then. Yeah, the fire of youth and the fire of stubbornness. Finally, I found you! Huh? Who this? <gasps> Kai Shear? What are you doing all the way out here? There's trouble back in Yulemore. Oh no. Lady Chai's beside herself, sighing, pacing, the whole lot. Near enough, beg me to go and find you. Sighing and pacing, you say? It must be urgent. <laughs> I take it I will be returning to Crystarium alone. Go on then. It's not as if I have anything for you to do. Thank you, Becklug. Oh, I'm scared. Nothing better be happening to Mama. Nothing! Sorry for bothering you all in that, but she says the future of Yulemore is at stake. Oh, no. Okay, chat, I'm gonna go grab a sweater because I am now cold. I am now a bit cold. Blanky is not doing it. So give me one second.
I have returned. I just split the cards again because I didn't want to take off my ears. You're gonna go to the to toilet and cry all her tears out? No. Not this time. A cry better suits a hero? Cry better suits a bitch. I just said no, thank you for giving my cowboy home style. I'll make sure to arrange my room to be your jumping area when I can. <laughs> thank you. The cardigan is so cute, thanks. It's just a cozy little one. Yeah, don't forget chat. This is an English only chat and that's because I can only speak English and it's unfair to me and to other viewers who don't understand some of the languages here. Um, when you speak it in a language because we don't know what you're talking about i don't want to have to look it up i don't want mods to have to look it up you know sometimes people come in here and they say like mean things in other languages it's not cool so please only speak english it's all i know i don't like looking at chat and having to go cool i don't know what's going on you know okay Kaisha is anxious to see you and Alfino back to Yulemore. Lily tries up in the parlor. Best not keep her waiting, eh? Alright. Guess we're going back to Yulemore. I'm scared. I hope she's being over dramatic. Because I'm low key, like. Yulemore still has me, like, anxious. Like, I know Vothri is gone and stuff, and what have you, but I don't know. Yeah, we get in cozy. No, we speak Urian ish Pleaseth. If it pleaseth you, then then uh then thy thy well speaketh in in said tongue. <laughs> thither no 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 thithering no thithering. Dadden? You're telling me this Aura's name is Dadden? Is there anything here that I can get? Worms. No, I never really noticed that they had shops here. Oh my god, her fit? Oh my god, her fit? Are these all, all down? Yeah. Oh my god, her thighs? Beautiful. But what if I spoke old high English? I don't know if I look it up. You will probably not recognize it. I don't I don't, but if I look it up, you'll probably not recognize it. Do it. Bet. You could rock that fit? Thank you. Thithering thine puffieth. Puffy. Man, every time I say thither, I just go into lisp mode. Well, not here seems of the ordinary, though I do not see Lady Chai anywhere. Probably pacing around outside again, staring off in the distance and all that. Sighing. Strange. Let's see if we can find her and discover the source of her distress. Alright, bestie, where are you at? Wait. I want to see if there's anything else here that I can do. Or grab. I don't seem like it. Oh wait, these are other players. I really sat here and thought, oh my god, Hrothgar here? <laughs> I got so excited. Hello? Put a shirt on! Why are there so many Hrothgar here all of a sudden? Hrothgar, Hrothgar here. Oh, this place is making me motion sick. Or like dizzy almost. Oh, well, there's Julia. Miss Dula Peep. Oh, and it's raining. The drama. Oh, thank heavens you're here. Yeah, what's up, babes? What's up, mommy? Lady Chai, whatever is the matter? Not where else to turn. Oh, this is all too much for my poor heart to bear alone. 
Alone? What of Master Chai? Oh, no. But that is the very reason I summoned <gasps> you. He's gone. Daddy! What have they what? done with Daddy? What happened? It all began after the events at Mount Golg. With Lord Vorthry out of the way, we all agreed that a new leader must be chosen. And so you held an election? Yes. Well, sort of. Not a single person volunteered to stand, you see. After a lifetime of leisure, we free citizens have grown somewhat indolent. Readapting to the harsh realities of life is trying enough, but to take charge of a broken city as well. No one wanted such responsibility. We e e e. Nevertheless, Yulmore could not well do without a leader, and so we decided that anyone and everyone should be considered a candidate. And after we cast our ballots and tallied the votes, the mayorship fell upon my dear husband. Well, given the manner in which he orchestrated the construction of the giant Talos, none could deny his leadership qualities. But even before then, he had proven himself at Daedalus Stoneworks, don't forget. He is more than qualified for the role. The perfect choice. Indeed, I told him as much when his victory was first announced. Perhaps I was too forceful in my attempt to encourage him. For shortly after that, he vanished without a word. <laughs> Mommy! You believe he was so daunted by the burden of leadership that he felt compelled to flee? But, like, without her? Please, Lady Chai, dry your eyes. Your husband does not strike me as the sort of man who would abandon his duty, yeah. much less his beloved wife. There has to be some other reason for his absence. Alfie, no, I don't think that's any more comforting. You... you truly think so? If you told me that he didn't flee because he was a coward... What about you? What do you think has become of my husband? Like, I would immediately think, oh, someone kidnapped him and he died. I don't know, but whatever it is, he won't have fled. Sorry, but I think he's fled. Uh, I don't know, babes. I'm just gonna say I don't know. Because that seems to cheer you up. And there you have it, Lady Chai. You needn't worry. Master Chai loves you more than all the world and he will return. Mm. Wherever he may have gone, rest assured we will find him. Now we're going on a fucking search mission? Thank you, my dear boy. You have set my mind at ease. I will trust in my husband and await his return. Oh, hey, I have the same hairstyle as her. I just noticed that. I know, I literally would have thought that he died. Pixie berry tea? Interesting. Ooh, I could go for some tea right now, honestly. Alright, Alfino. No, you're not Alfino. For all his comforting words, Alfino is plainly in trouble when Master Chai's sudden disappearance. See? It makes no sense for Master Chai to have left another word, but even if he had, he would not have done so unobserved. Someone here will have seen something, I'm sure of it. We should split up and inquire as to whether anyone saw him leave or failing that. Or failing that, if they have an idea where he might have gone. I'll meet you at the Glory Gate to compare notes later on. Bro, there is a place in this game called the Glory Gates, and there is a place called God's Grip. The localization team had a fucking field day with this game. I'm gonna start calling my coochie the glory gates. You better spread those gates, baby. What's up, Moen? Master Chai? Why, yes, I spoke with him recently. 
you'll recall he was in a rather dour mood. Concerned about Yulmore's neglect industry, you see. The grippers! The grippers spread wide the gates! Oh my god, does anyone have a clip of me spreading my legs? Oh. <laughs> spread. <laughs> the clip of me, the clip of me when I went over spread wide the gates! And I. Uh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Never mind. You know what? You know what? Forget it. Forget it. Forget what I said. But Lord Vothry's apparently inexhaustible stores of mule and no great need for money. It's a little wonder our business were all but forgotten under his rule. But I assured Nasa Chai that the boutique of Sunnas will do all it can to contribute to the revival of trade here in Yelmore, which seemed to satisfy him. He took leave soon after. Your exchange with Moen has taught you about the stagnant state of business in Yelmore. Okay. Let me just see the journal real quick. Very good. I love this song so much. It's so good. Are you fucking kidding me? He says more lives left than Ishtola. How many lives does Ishtola have left? Seven? <laughs> She's died like twice now? Looking for Master Chai, are you? Is something amiss? When last I saw him, he seemed ready to collapse from exhaustion. I insisted he rests and catch his breath, and we talked for a while about his concerns over the city's defenses, amongst other things. He made a few valid points. Many of our men are still recovering after your confrontation with Lord Vothry, and finding General Ranji in a heap in the middle of the plaza shook us all to the core. I am really starting to think that this guy died. Like, I'm starting to think that the reason why he wanted to make sure that Yulmore was going to be okay was because he's on his way to his, like, his deathbed, you know? This is kind of suspicious. Hi, Badoo! She has more plot armor than the Warrior of Light. She has infinite lives? True. Wish that were me. Really wish that were me. The man commanded no small amount of loyalty. Some of our longest serving soldiers seem lost without him. Indeed, a number of them left. Not that we blame you, of course. Without you and yours, we would still be blind to the error of our ways. Anyway, funding permitting, I propose replenishing our our ranks with volunteers from the Derelicts and Gate Town. We have a duty to protect not only Yulmore, you see, but the surrounding regions of Calusia as well. And I, for one, would welcome any man or woman willing to take up arms for that cause. Indeed, I told him as much, and he seemed relieved to hear it. It was on that note that we parted ways. He headed outside, as I recall. You exchange with Cornen? Cornen has taught you about the perilous state of Yulmore's defenses. All right, besties. So now we have to go, I believe, this way. And I have an etherite to pick up. Or attune to, rather. Karen is dripped out, though. Nah, that hair was not it. <laughs> okay, half in bed. Oh, I remember this area. Overwrought Ondo. Oh, it's a kid. Nah, I'm gonna cry. Ooh, this looks like a cool dungeon. I'm just gonna accept this quest real quick. Also, a creature of unknown origin threatens the lives of the Ondo people. Perhaps the clerk in Amarot's bureau of the administrator can shed some light on this mystery on this mystery beast. You're telling me you want me to go back to Amarot? You want me to go and wait in line where Anna is no doubt still waiting for her chicken nuggies? I'm good. Okay. What's up here? It was that dude sitting on the couch, right? Come over here. Yeah, 
are right here. I recall men fitting that description. Asked to speak with the poor buggers lately. Uh, but the poor buggers lately come from right. Said he wanted to know the state of things down in the derelicts. You could be sure we gave him an earful. Lack of food, medicine, clothing. There was plenty to tell. We hunt high and low for whatever we could scavenge. And it's barely enough to fill our bellies. But folk here don't just want to survive. They want to thrive. When he heard that, he started mumbling to himself. Something about finding us work, I think. Fair play to him, though. Not content with having his ear chewed about the derelicts. He asked about the other settlements and all. Other settlements and all. After that, I can't really say. Looked like he was headed for Gate Town when I last saw him. Okay. Well, now, you know what I'm starting to think? Now I'm starting to think that maybe he left in search for another leader. Someone more suited to the task? Or maybe he left not because he was... Or maybe because he was anxious and he just had to get all the information he could before he took the leadership role? I don't know, now I'm getting a little bit too PMA. This game has done nothing but make me cry, so I should not be this optimistic, honestly. Ah, there you are. How did you fare? Have you learned anything which might offer a clue as to Master Chai's whereabouts? Got these vibes. Little notes here. Interesting. Apparently paid a visit to the Queen Bee as well. They discussed the possibility of granting a mission to customers from outside Gloomore, an idea to which the proprietor was surprisingly receptive. Sounds like he's got big plans for the place. Gloomore, I mean, not the Bee. Perhaps, the question remains, where did he go after leaving the city? <laughs> With furrowed brow, Alpino carefully considers where best to look next. All we know for certain is that Master Chai has shown great concern not only for Yulmore, but its surrounding settlements. It seems logical then that having consulted those within the city walls, he would wish to do the same to those without. Pepper, if you would go and make inquiries and write, I shall do likewise in Stilltide. Gate Town, I leave to you, Kaishir. Fair enough. Where should we meet when we finished? Well, top rung would seem to me be- whoa. Top rung would seem to me to be his next most likely destination. Let us reconvene there. With any luck, one of us will have stumbled upon him by then, but if not, we, sh we will be well situated to continue our search. Alrighty. Oh, so I'm just going back into Calusia? Wait, this way. No, wait. Oh, I'm- wait. I'm getting out! I am getting out. I keep getting eyelashes in my eye, chat. I don't know what it is about this mascara that I'm wearing, but like, it flakes so easily, but it's so good. There are still some crusty trails left for you by Emmett? That fuck. That fuck. He's still ordering a Big Mac, can you believe? I honestly can. We gotta speak to- oh, too bad Emmett's dead. <laughs> I was gonna say, we gotta speak to Emmett about um, their customer service. But I guess I'll have to take it up with the ghosts themselves instead. Okay, where am I going? Speak with hey slot. <laughs> hey slot. What's up, slot? Did I go the wrong way? I did not. <laughs> I'm just not looking at the right place. Okay, we ball. So, is it pronounced a niter? Maybe I'll do some dungeons next week because I know I've unlocked a couple others. No, the name doesn't ring any bells, but there was a rather dapper looking mystical gentleman here not long ago. He wanted to talk about relations between Right in Yulmore, or rather the lack of them. We lost a great many people to their promises of mule and the chance of a lavish life among the free. And Vothri thought to take even more from us, conscripting the few able-bodied men we had left to guard his paradise. I didn't tell you what happened when the seniors came. Such things are hard to forgive. But Vothri's gone now, and we're curious to see what will become of Yulmore in his absence. That's what I told your friend. Shinas, was it? And I'm sure the others said the same. Not what he wanted to hear, I suppose, because he left soon after. And that was that. It's too Cathal, you know. Where's Alfino? Alfino's over there. Alrighty. We're running around now. So we gotta go this way. Eh. 
Anid, An, Anidair, Anidair, Anidair. I don't like saying that out loud. It sounds like it could be clipped out of context. Can I just call it the another dungeon? We all know I'm really bad at pronouncing things, so is that okay? I don't like how that sounds. Or just call it a niter. Yeah, I'm just gonna go with a niter. A niter, yeah. Because of that Y? Yeah. The Niter Dungeon. Okay, thanks, chat. So he paid a visit to both Wright and Gaten as well, did he? I see. Kaishir and I gleaned much the same. He seems determined to salvage what goodwill might yet remain among the settlements of Calusia, the only likely place he has left to go being Amity. Come, if we are quick, we may yet catch up with him. Oh right, I can't CP there, it's just a small settlement. It's... Academia Anider, so you call it Ween Woon? Ween Woon? I don't know what that means. The Nerd Academy? Wait, it's an underwater college? Or is it a college in Amarat? I guess I'll, I'll fucking find out myself. <laughs> Why am I running? Welcome back, Pirates. How you doing? Ween Woon is the noises the big friends make. Hmm. Hmm. Sorry, but we ball. Relatable, babes. Me fucking too. Wild looking wife. My wife. You know, like, I'm tired, but I know damn well that I am not gonna go to sleep. I am gonna be stuck playing Final Fantasy, and now I'm gonna be playing Triple Triad with this little child. Look, I got an amazing cards from a big happy lady. Oh, do you have some too? We should play. Ascension, three open, fallen ace. Rank one can flip an A. Okay. Let's see if luck is on my side chat. It appears luck may actually be on my side. Fuck, never mind. Okay, both those sides are eight, so regardless, I won. That's it? All right, now give me your card. I want your card. Give me your card, bitch. All right, this is, this is, my, this is my chance. Y'all gotta endure this for a bit. Okay, <laughs> eight and five. Um, you know what? I'll put this one over here. It's not good, but it's fine. I'm ascended, so we ball. All right, I can take that with this card. Yeah, it's on an eight. Okay, I can take that one too, easy. I can take back my own as well. But first I'll do this one, because why not? Easy. Yes, I got the card, the Lord and Lady Chai card. Hell yeah. yeah. Thanks, kid. Chinas! We found him! He ain't dead! What's up, daddy? What's up, daddy? Oh, this music, though. Cover, Alfino, Kaishir, what are you doing here? We might ask you the same, Master Chai. We've been looking all over for you. Looking for me? Whatever for? Lady Chai has been nigh inconsolable in your absence. She claims you disappeared without so much as a word and bade us return you to her side. What in blaze are you talking about? I left a letter for her in her, ch her chambers. Though I suppose she could have overlooked it. And when she gets an idea into her head, I can only apologize. Sir, you gotta get better at communicating. No harm done, Master Chai, but since you're here, might I ask what compelled you to come all this way? We were told you had been elected mayor, and from what we have gathered from the nearby villages, you have been inquiring about the people's grievances. Is it safe to assume you mean to take office? No, 
now, now, let's not jump to conclusions. I did seek to learn about the problems faced by the people of Calusia. That much is true. But I am by no means sure I am the man to solve them. Tackling our many challenges will require resources, and until I have secured them, it would be—it would not be right to assume the royal the role of mayor. I see. And you believe said resources can be found here? Indeed. The people's grievances are many, but in the course of my inquiries, I have already met with several individuals willing to lend their aid in addressing them. However, there remains one individual crucial to my plans, a man whose counsel might yet make a mayor of me. With respect, such forethought is, in itself, proof of your suitability. The city needs you, Master Chai, and I am certain this man of whom you speak, whoever he may be, will reach the same conclusion. For what little it is worth, we will vouch for you should he require convincing. Whatever you need, you can count on us. We believe- not yet, you can count on us. I wonder who he's talking about. I- I don't know what to say. One of the dwarves, maybe? You know, you don't need to say anything. You've got your actions to speak for you. So true, bestie. For as long as I can remember, all I ever wanted was to make it into Yulemore. But that dream's gone now, burst like a bubble. Or a boil, more like. Anyway, outside of repaying Master Off, you know, I haven't had a clue what to do with myself. It's been most days in the days. But you? You've been running up and down, trying to find a way to fix this mess for everyone. And I reckon you can do it. You've got this lot up. You've got- You got this lot up, Mount Gold, didn't you? A hard could marrying be. You're going to steer you more to a better future. I know it. And I want to help. Properly help. Do something that makes a difference. Oh. I don't know what it is yet, but I'll work it out on the way. If you let me come with you, that is. You give me entirely too much credit, the lot of you. But I can't deny it gives me heart. Come then, let's press on together. I love this. Thank you, Master Chai. We mustn't get ahead of ourselves. Yulmer needs more than a man with good intentions, which is why I am here. Let's find one with the experience needed to see the city thrive. Who is this man exactly? And are you certain he's in he's here in Amity? Rendon is his name, and yes, he is, or was. I had scarcely begun to explain myself when he decided his time was better spent elsewhere. He served as chief advisor to Valtteri's father when he was in office. If Ranjit was the mayor's right hand, one might say Rendon was the left, and between them, they kept Gilmore on the road to prosperity. The city needs more than a mere man of business, which is why I must find him. Even if you do, what makes you think he's a listen? Before giving chase, might it not be wise to speak with those who know him here in Amity? There may be- they may be able to shed some light on his reason for rejecting your overtures out of hand. Yes, I suppose that makes sense. Perhaps we should start with Tristel then. As I recall, you made rather a favorable impression on him. I'm certain he would be willing to talk to us. Does anybody else get restless leg syndrome when they play video games? I am dying right now. <laughs> my legs are just like wriggling underneath my desk. Greetings, friend, and to you too, Master Chai. I presume you are here to ask about Rendon? I couldn't help overhearing your earlier exchange. Yes, well, with Vothry gone, Yulmer wants for a leader. Should no one rise to the challenge, the city could very well collapse. I came here seeking Rendon's counsel in the hope that we could build a better Yulmer together. And that is still my wish, but given how abominably you were mistreated, here, mistreated there, I will quite understand if you choose not to help. Worry not, Master Chai. I bear no grudge against you or the people of Yulmor, and I would not see you suffer for Vothri's villainy. As you no doubt gathered from your meeting earlier, Rendon can be rather uncompromising. He has his principles, you see, and little patience for anyone he deems less committed to their own. Your desire to right the wrongs of your past of Yulmor's past is quite admirable, but I fear the guilt you bear on the city's behalf works against you. Oh, I always do that when I'm anxious. I'm not even anxious right now. I, th I think it might just be arthritis. Like, when my legs start to, like, bother me, my OCD kind of flares up, and then I'm just like, brrrr. You can see it in your eyes and the way you carry yourself. It goes without saying. He sees it as well. You must let those feelings go, Master Chai. Be more assertive. Commit to this course. And prove to him Yulmore has a resolve to change. A resolve to change. I believe he was heading towards Pit 8 when he left. If you plan to go and speak with him, as just you be firm and clear in your intentions. Very well, to pit eight we shall go, and I will not take no for an answer. Nay, not even a maybe. 
Pit 8. Isn't Pit 8 where we have to do that one quest and put people to sleep? I think that's what that was. Thank you for the hydration bars. Appreciate it. Quick reminder to people in chat. I'm not going to be tweeting that I'm going live as much because it's just, it's so exhausting. I like doing it because it feels like it's doing something, but honestly, I can't tell if it is or not. So here's what I want y'all to do. Turn on Twitch notifications for me and join my Discord server. I wanna know how many of y'all um, know, like how many of y'all like get notified by Twitch and how many of y'all get notified by Discord? Like what is it that brings you to my stream when I go live? How do you know when I'm live? I feel like Discord and Twitch are the easiest and the most reliable because Twitter's algorithm is garbage. Nobody uses Instagram. And yeah. Yeah, Discord does take a moment. For some reason, my bot is sometimes very late. So Twitch is, I think, the most reliable. Unfortunately, sometimes Twitch has a habit of like turning off your notifications. So you do have to like go back and forth to make sure that they're turned on. Yeah, Discord is very delayed. That's why sometimes what I like to do is do a just chatting stream, you know, at the very beginning. Unwind, do my dailies, what have you, and then once the Discord bot pings everybody, I, I jump into stream, like into the game. And refresh right to see who's on. That's usually what I do too. I just like, I just open Twitch and see who's on. <laughs> And like, I'm trying to be more consistent with my schedule, you know, like my late night streaming. So I guess it's like safe to say, oh, 7 p.m. Eastern, 9 p.m. Eastern, let's see if Syra's on, you know? The prospect of emotional damage mostly. Okay. Okay. So I'm glad to know that most of you come through Discord and Twitch. So for those of you who do not come from Discord and Twitch, let's change that. Can someone bump Discord in the chat real quick? Make sure you're turning notifications on for me. I honestly don't even remember how to do that. I think you could just do it from my Twitch page. At least I'm pretty sure. Let me see, let me open somebody else's Twitch page. Yeah, so let's use Chris Melberger as an example. You'll see a little bell. Turn that on for me. Make sure that's on. Yes, yeah, next to the sub button. There you go. Yeah, Twitch will send you notification immediately. Thankfully. Discord, sometimes it takes like 30 minutes. I found if I try to organize another around the streamer schedules, they just cancel or move days or times or be live unexpectedly. So now if I'm able, if I'm available and someone's on, I catch them. If not, VOD if I have time. True. Yeah. I, I'm very finicky with my schedule. I used to be really consistent on Twitch, but mental health and stuff. Um, but I'm trying my best now. I really, 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 really want to be more consistent because I have so much fun streaming. It's just like when I can't get out of bed, you know, it's rough, right? That's why sometimes I do movie nights in the Discord instead. So that way... You know, we still get to hang out and do something, even if it's like not to, you know, stream. You show up at the top of my live list on the left, so I always see when you're live. Hell yeah. I'll just try to mute the whole server, but stream announcement channels, you can individually allow. That's what I do. So for some of my friends, that's what I do. I'll mute their server, but like their announcement channels, I will turn those on. So make sure notifications for the summoning ch uh, channel is, is on. It's this one right here. I'll show y'all. So this is the Discord server. This is our little coven. Under sacrificial rites. Oh, I gotta take my medicine. Under sacrificial rites, there's a channel called Summoning. Um, I have an announcement channel as well and a content upload channel for like tweets and YouTube videos and just general updates. Um, but this is where you'll go to see when I go live. My bot is usually like 30 minutes late. It's very frustrating. Um, did I publish it? I did. No. Wait, my bot didn't even fucking post that I was live today. Oh no, it did. This is my this is this is me. I'm so dumb. Oh my god. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. 
So you go here. I only keep announcements and mentions for me and mute everyone's. Oh yeah, I always mute everyone's. Cans for secret loot rooms. We do not have secret loot rooms because we have a partnered uh, server, so unfortunately I try to keep it as PG as I can. Ludity is okay, but you know, not, not too lewd. Anyway, I'm gonna go take my medicine shot. I will be right back. I'm gonna leave y'all with Pepper for a moment. She's just gonna, she's gonna, she's gonna do what she does best. And she's gonna sit up here. <laughs> Cause that's what Pepper's good at doing. She's great at sitting. All right, I'll be back in a second chat.
Okay, chat. I pooped my last poop. Turning off the light. <sighs> Alright. I hope y'all are doing okay. Hope we're all chilling. Elise? Sorry, I don't know what I just walked into, but I can only assume that Elise is talking about pulling a poop out of her butt. Why are your fingers covered in human fudge? Thanks, chat. I don't poop. Kelsey, I'm not a pooper. I'm a shitter. <laughs> I really want to get a bidet. Maybe in my new place. Just woke up, saw notification. Good morning. Good morning, Chaos. How are you? How are you? Welcome, welcome. Rise and shine. Bidet is such a game changer. I believe it, but it kind of like scares me too, you know? It seems really intimidating. Well, well, it's you again. <gasps> Voice acting. Well, I see you've invited your friends. Need them to fight your battles for you, do you? No, I, I, I didn't invite them, as it happens. Uh, though they are indeed my friends. Well, not only mine, but every true Yulmorans. Mm -hmm. They are the ones who awakened us to the truth, mm -hmm. to Lord Forthree's villainy, mm -hmm. the famous warriors of darkness. Are they now? Yes, they are. It would be no exaggeration to call them our saviors. We owe much and more to their kindness, but we cannot depend on that kindness forever. To do so would be a little different from entrusting our affairs to Lord Vorthree. Nay, we must learn to stand on our own two feet. Amen. And I would have them present to witness my attempt. Hear, hear, Master Chai. Your sentiments are admirable, yet admirable sentiments do not a nation make. In my capacity as advisor, I once strove to build a better Yulmor. Gave honest counsel to my superiors, drafted laws for the benefit of one and all. But in time, my values fell out of favor. Hmm. There was no need for them in this paradise Vorthree was creating. And so I left my homeland behind. But you, Chai News, you That's were content to wallow in indolence under Vorthri's auspices. And so I cannot help but ask myself what manner of nation you intend to build. He's valid. Can't even lie. It stings, but he's valid. I... Uh, I can offer no simple answer to that question. This much I will say. It is my hope that Yulmore can become a nation which her citizens might freely choose to build together. A great many people, myself included, flocked to Yulmore seeking sanctuary. The alternative being to live in fear and die in pain. It seemed an easy choice. And sanctuary we found. As much food and drink as we could ever want. Secured at the cost of the surrounding villages. Little wonder the people gathered at our doorstep, begging to work among the bonded. The free were blind to it all, of course. Content to, as you say, wallow in indolence. In ignorance. Were I mayor, I would first take stock of the city's resources and see that they were assigned equitably. 
Our days of reckless consumption are behind us. That's a good start. The distinction between free and bonded died with War Three. The needs of rich and poor alike must be considered if our nation is to survive. To which end I would take steps to secure channels for supplies, rekindle relations with nearby settlements, who re-establish industry, reach out to neighboring nations, and the list goes on and on. But I am no ruler, nor even a politician. I am an entrepreneur. My expertise lie in planning and profit. I haven't the knowledge or experience to run a nation. Please, Rendon, will you not help me? Together, we could solve the city's problems. Build a Yulmore for the people. A Yulmore for the people. Oh. I, I back him up. I support this. I rather like the sound of that. We did it! But before I offer you my counsel, I would be certain of your ability to perform the duties of office. You would? You ask me to help you solve Yulmore's problems, but first I would see you solve one on your own. Accomplish that, and you will prove both to me and the people that you are a man worth following. I love this arc. Hm. I love this arc. And Peanut, hello! I love Chai News too. He and his wife really grow me. They grow me very quickly. Ahem. Right then. Is there a particular issue you would have me resolve? You seem to have conducted- Fuck. <laughs> Shit. Ah uh, yes, mule being neither desirable nor less sustainable option. I assume alternative food systems are now required to fill the void. Oh, they're low on food. Okay. And a man who hungers does not like to contribute much to society. Save violence, perhaps. So tell me, how do you propose to solve this problem? Give me a satisfactory answer and I will consider offering you my counsel. Food, 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 food. Come on, bro. Think of something fast. Hmm. A combination of measures would seem to be in order. One to address the immediate issue of supply and another that of production. Go on. For the present, Yulmore's coffers can be used to purchase food from our neighbors. This would afford us time to address the underlying problem that affects us all, alongside neglect of agriculture. The villages that once served as sources of trade for foodstuffs must be repopulated, their means of production restored. This assumes, of course, that we rekindle relations with our neighbors, guarantee security and stability in the region, and most importantly, find people willing to leave the city and take up a building effort. My, my. Think all that by yourself, did you? Well, yes. It began as a rather abstract plan I drafted some time ago, after speaking with the peoples of Yulmore and the nearby settlements. Impressed me, Chai News. Uh, I have? Well, that is a relief. Oh, you haven't secured my support just yet. Only my attention. Grand plans will not be enough to persuade the masses. If you could ask them to rebuild, you must provide them the means to do so. A fair point, Rendon, and one to which I have given much thought. I propose the use of Talos to aid in the establishment and maintenance of the settlements, their employment to drastically improve efficiency and ultimately increase production. Talos? But Daedalus Stoneworks closed their doors years ago. Without a ready supply of the necessary equipment, the people would starve before your plans could be put into, eff into effect. Well, as the heir of Daedalus Sto Stoneworks, it just so happens that Talos are my field of expertise. And with a little help, I'm quite certain we can acquire what we need in no time at all. Hell yeah. Oh, I love how the raining stopped right there at this moment. Beautiful. Pixie berry cheesecake? Yummy. 
Do I want to get some cheesecake? I'll get it. Oh, do I want to get the cheesecake? No, I'll get the other girl. Julia Chai is everyone's mom, or at least that doting aunt. She does have auntie energy, actually. Finding good help. Chai News looks of steely determination. Look of steely determination is only slightly undermined by the knocking of his knees. Brendan is quite right. Building towels from scratch require a time we simply do not have. Which is why I propose to make use of the long abandoned towels which wanders which wander the wilds of Calusia. They will need to be deactivated, of course, and if memory serves the children to do so, should still be at top run. Come with me. Alright, I'm gonna turn down the brightness on my monitor because it is just beaming in my face. Okay. I feel like that's a bit better. <sighs> Alrighty. Chat, I am tired. It is 1.30. Do I go to sleep? Do we continue tomorrow? What do we do? You've probably seen the video before, but I sent you a page of it I think you'll like. Bet. I'll check it out. <laughs> I got Windows Night Mode as well to cut some of the blues. Oh hell yeah, that's smart. I wear um uh, filtered glasses, so thankfully the blues, the bright blues and whites don't bother me too much. But because I have my light off in my office, like it's not set to my my warm light, it's killing me. I will fight you. No, don't fight me. I want to keep going, but I'm also like, you know. And y'all know I'm not asking you guys to sleep. I'll be up playing, like, I'll probably do my dailies. No, I need to sleep. I 100% need to sleep. Okay, let me just go speak with Chai News and we'll see what happens. Make a tea? Ooh, I should make some tea. I could go for some orange pico or some chai. I could go for some Chai News right now, if you know what I mean. I don't know what I mean. I'm sorry. Aha! The old memory hasn't let me down. This chest contains canisters filled with, with a dashedly potent insulating powder, capable of halting the flow of ether in its hollows. We need only get within throwing distance of one and let fly. Warm oh, three crust from 5.2? Mmm. Plus the same with them without damaging them. An old trick of the trade, nothing more. Once disabled, it should be a simple enough matter to get them to march to Yulemore. More extensive repairs can, can wait. I mean, I can finish 5.2 or 5.1 tomorrow. Ordinarily, this is where I would ask you to run along and do the deed, but as I've said before, it's high time to learn to stand on our own two feet. Yes! Thankfully, throwing cancer is something even I should be able to manage. Yes! No fetch quest! Come off it, Master Chai. Even the towels ain't a threat. There's 101 other things out there waiting to make a meal of you. No, thank you. That says maybe, Kaishir, but Rendon tasked me with solving this problem. I will not sit idly by while others I will not sit idly by while while others risk everything to see my hair my harebrained schemes realized. Not this time. Which isn't to say the mere thought of it doesn't fill me with dread. Just be told I can't feel my legs. But if I'm to prove I'm a man with worth following, I must lead by example. Well said, Master Chai. Here, here. Yes, well, it should go without saying that I have no intention of dying for this. I've, al I've always preferred living to see the fruits of my labors. And to make sure I do, I will require your help. It is as Kaishir says, these lands are dangerous if one is not careful. I would ask you to use my spyglass to look for any beast that could get in the way of my work. I will also need you to alert me when it is safe to subdue Talos. Understood? No! Good, then let's be up to the quick way through the north gate and see if we can't find a suitable vantage point for you. No! I don't wanna. I don't wanna, mommy. Oh, I have mail. Who sent me mail? I wanna check my. Okay, alert master. Try when it's safe to approach the Talos. Um, I guess I should wait for it to turn around. <laughs> What do I do? 
Oh, I have to look at him and give the signal. Oh, okay, I see. <laughs> okay, let's wait for his butt to turn around. Was that it? Or is there gonna be more? Is that all I had to do? Thank God, I thought I was gonna fall on him. <laughs> I I did it? I did it! Let's move on to another towel, shall we? Alright. Okay, okay. Okay. Alright, it turned its back. And opening, yeah. I like how he just tells me when there's an opening, so I don't have to guess. I don't have to pretend. Nice! Nice! Good job, Chai! I can't believe I'm getting the hang of this. Ooh, I don't like that optimism. Too optimistic. That means something bad is coming. You may leave the next one to me, Pepper. Oh. Oh, I don't like the sound of this. My name is Sarah. I'm a Final Fantasy XIV streamer. I hope you're having a good night. Ha! That should do it. Now we have all we need to proceed. Oh, we did the thing. Bring me the magic. She brought us the magic! I hope you had a good stream, Bean. What'd you get up to? Were you arting? Oh? Hey! Bossmans! Love this for him. Love this for him. I can scarcely believe it. It was a reckless, foolish plan, but somehow it worked. King shit. Hi, Woody! What's up? How you doing? Welcome. I... I did it. You did, babes. Master Chai, I believe I owe you an apology. Your plan to replenish Ulmore's food stores showed forethought and sound judgment. What's more, it is plain your time at Daedalus Stoneworks has equipped you to lead, as evidenced by the extraordinary com company you keep. You, sir, are more than qualified to be the next mayor of Yulemore. <gasps> I thank you for your vote of confidence, but the fact remains, I am wholly ignorant of the world of politics. Which is why I would ask you to join me and grant Yulemore the benefit of your counsel. I would be honored. Oh, I love this! When the people behold these Talos, I have no doubt they will lend you their support. It would seem Yulmar's leadership is at last in capable hands, would you not agree? Mm. We should probably be ba getting back soon, Master Chai, after you've tinkered with the Talos and all that. Lady Chai is worried sick. Ah oh, yes, your wife! Mummy! <laughs> How goes games? I've been lurking and saw some new faces. The game is going really well. It's been, it's been healing. Oh, drama. Hold on, hold that thought. Yeah, it's been, it's been really good. We're right, working, oh. right then. Uh, form a line and make for your more. I don't realize this would be voice acted. God, there's a sheer mass of those. I love that he can just command them. Iconic. Hi, Shockwing, what's up? Welcome, welcome. Hmm? 
What's that noise? <laughs> Wicked white! Run away, Talos! No, no. Call the guard! They're not runaway Talos. Don't you worry. Oh no, what if this backfires? What if this fucking backfires? Oh no. Oh, he's got an audience now. Stay back, all of you! Cannot stop looking at his camel toe. Oh. But of course I'm back. You didn't see. <gasps> yeah, the nearest I, I can't. God. <clears throat> Don't kill the mayor. Oh. Oh. Oh dear. Oh. Okay. He's fine. Right. Oh, he's fine. Oh, you could fucking heal him, but you couldn't heal Orshifa in the vault? Oh, thank I you. I won't forget this, Alfie, you know. I'm sorry, my this. darling. It's just the sight of you filled me with such joy. I couldn't help myself. I truly thought that man was dead. I truly oh, thought no, no, it, that it's all man right. yeah, was yeah. I should have dead. just come out and said what it was I was intending instead of entrusting the task to a hastily scribbled letter. Man's eyes rolled all the way back. He went. Does that mean you'll do it? Well, I'm here, aren't I? I mean, not 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 that my absence signified any unwillingness. You understand? Stepped on a crack and mother broke his back. Oh no! Naught could be further from the truth. I only left to enlist the aid of the former mayor's senior advisor. And now that I have it, I believe I am ready to take office. Oh, how wonderful! I love this for them. Girl, not again! <laughs> Damn it, please! At God when? At God when? That look she gave him? Iconic. I love them. Oh. That was quite a reception. One master child will struggle to forget. More seriously, the arrival of the Talos has seized the public's attention. Once word has spread around Yulmor, it will be that much simpler to gather one and all so that Master Chai can make his inaugural address. Honestly, he is a lucky man. He is a lucky, lucky man. And so is she. They love each other so much. I love them. They are my goals. He said, blow my back out, literally. Literally. I know who the bottom is. And it's not Dulia. It's not Miss Dula Peep. Thank you again for finding my husband. I confess I was not expecting your return to be quite so grand. A dear, sweet man. He's gonna make the most wonderful mayor. I just know it. Despite the butterflies in his stomach, Chai News is prepared to address the masses. No need to fret, Pepper. I have never felt better. <clears throat> I'm not at all overawed by the prospect of addressing the assembled masses of Yulmore. And for where to do it? For to accommodate everyone who might feasibly wish to attend, I suppose the only place large enough would be the emergent. Then I will go and spread the word among the citizens, both free and bonded, that they are to assemble there to meet their new mayor. You there, uh, Kaishir, was it? Would you go and inform the residents of Gatetown and their derelicts? 
course I will. Good lad. I will let the guards know not to bar the way to Valkyrie's chambers. It goes without saying that I expect the Warrior of Darkness to attend. Assuming she's available, might as well see it through to the bitter end, eh? The doorman at the crown left will show you up. Ba -da -dum -ba. Alrighty. It's time for something. It's time for his speech. Something bad is gonna happen. I feel like it's gonna get interrupted. Because we're coming on towards the end of 5.1. So something bad has to happen. I just don't know what. Okay, let me check my mail really quickly. What did I get in the mail? <gasps> From Zen! Dear Pepper, I added a tool in the FC house for creating stronger company buffs if you're interested. I'm also attaching some rooms, in case I'm not here to clean the chocobo stables. Thanks! Thank you! Thank you, Zen. I will reply to you post-haste. <laughs> Thank you for the brooms. Ah yes, Master Chai told us to expect you. The emergent is already filling up with people of all persuasions. Free and bonded, citizens and non-citizens. But for you, our guest of honor, we have reserved a place at the front. Right this way, miss! babes let's see uh, um <clears throat> Go Hello. on, dear. I struggle too in front of crowds, I know. I believe in you. We're here. See? <laughs> Thank you all for gathering here today. Uh, but before going any further, could I, could I ask the free citizens of Yulmore to look around? Tis a sight none of us would ever have seen under Lord Forthree's rule. He's spitting. Not only do we stand in the familiar presence of those we once called the bonded, but today, we welcome the peoples of the Derelicts and Gate Town too. Today, we welcome the Warriors of Darkness, come to bear witness to Yulmore's new beginning. That's me, babes. It's me. He means me. By the way, I'm the Warrior of Darkness, in case you didn't know. <laughs> As you know, an election was recently held at the end of which I had the honor of being chosen to succeed Lord Vothry. You place great faith in me, and I promise to do my utmost to live up to your expectations, and I will seek always to carry out the duties of this office with integrity and fairness. Always, I say, but not forever. Let it be known that I do not intend to hold this post indefinitely. I consider myself but an acting mayor who will serve only for the interim, while Yulmore is reshaped according to a new set of values. How do they feel? What's the consensus? No longer can we think of ourselves as divided, as the free and the bonded, citizens and non-citizens. The systems put in place by Lord Vorthry must be undone. But even as we tear down the old, we must give thought to the new. 
to what manner of nation Yulmor should become. Whatever the answer may be, it cannot be decided by one man alone. And so I propose that an open forum be held, that we might all discuss how best to strive towards a better future. Oh, I love this. However, there can be no talk of the morrow unless we first address the issues of today. Securing new sources of food, rebuilding relations with our neighbors, re-establishing industry. There is much and more that needs to be done. Too much for a mere man of business. And so I pledge instead to do everything in my power to ensure our city's security and stability while we all work together to see these problems solved. Tiffany, thank you for the raid. Hi, friends. My name is Simon. Final the road Simon. before Simon. us will Welcome. not be easy. And I know full well we how daunting the prospect of honest labor may seem one. to some Very of you. Slow. And I am not okay. <laughs> but we must accept the reality of our circumstances. We must move forward. Camel toe! This much Camel we owe to Camel ourselves toe. and to Camel the toe. brave heroes who risked their lives it's to bring back the at. night. Cover his crotch, please. Once we have shored up our city's foundations and regained some semblance of normality, let us reconvene to speak of the future. Until then, I humbly ask that you lend me and each other your strength. For you Camel Yulmo! toe! Camel toe! Camel toe! Come on, crowd. Yes! Yes! I love this for the Yulmorans. Look at her, look at her staring at her men in just complete awe. Actual goals. Yes, Pepper! You clap too, babes! Ah, <sighs> camel tail, true. Yeah, no, Shadowbringers did fuck me up. Not as bad as I thought it would, but it all hit hard at the end you know i think my counter went from 24 to 30 32 or 33 in one stream i wonder if his camel toe can open your cranberry juice <laughs> are you telling me that chai news's camel toe is stronger than my god's grip Kelsey Noor! Kelsey Noor! I feel- look, you know what? I believe it. If there's only- if there's one person who can open my cranberry juice, it's the mayor of Yulemore. God, like, that's all I see. Like... Do you see that camel toe? Like, that is a toe. No, bitch. Sit on ground. S ground? Sit ground? Girl. Girl, sit on the ground. Let's look at that toe. Oh, it's the ground sit. Oh, hello? No, 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 no. Go, get back on the ground. We're going into first person mode. Do you see that? Like, I just want to have a word with the person who designed him. Like, that is a lit- like, the seams in these pantalones are not doing this man any fucking favors. Anyways, yes, once again, hi friends, my name is Syrah, I am a Final Fantasy XIV streamer, 
I used to just do a variety of games on here, mostly like fantasy RPG based games, but now I am balls deep into FF14. It is all I play. Um, and uh, we critique camel toes apparently now. And you know what? I wouldn't have this Final Fantasy XIV experience any other way. Hope you had a great stream. Tiff, what'd you get up to? Were you playing FF as well? Dude, more cutscene vibes. That was a fine speech, Master Chai. I believe your words stirred every soul in attendance. Stir them to action, I hope. If I have learned anything from all of this, it is that change begins with the individual. Wise words. It's but a matter of finding the strength to take the first step. Assume my fellow Yulmorans can. It shall be my honor and privilege to help them walk this road we have chosen. But we must not forget the individuals who made all of these changes possible. Me, there? Are you talking about me? Were it within my power, I would carve a tribute to your heroism into the very stone which the city stands. Oh. Thanks, Bibes. I hate to change the subject, darling, but now that you have officially taken office, have you given any thought to your mayoral, mayoral seat? Mayoral? Mayoral? We will not be moving into the emergent, dearest. It's too big, for one thing, and too far from the people for another. We will retain our current residence, and I will govern here in the parlor. Oh, I was hoping you'd say that! I much prefer the view from the parlor. <laughs> Begging your pardon, Master Chai, but have you got time for a word? Oh no. And so it begins. I knew it was too good to be true. Some shit's about to- oh, it's them, never mind. We're good. Uh, yes, of course. Er, uh, haven't bet? Hi, that's me. I liked your speech, but as folk outside these walls as- these walls as don't even have enough food to last till tomorrow, and more who are counting their crumbs. If you have plans to change that, I want to help set things in motion. And we have much to discuss. No sooner do I take office than my work begins in earnest. Well, I suppose I brought it upon myself. Thank you again for your help, Pepper. I hope to see you again before long. Well? That's that. What a day. I don't know what it means exactly, but I do know I've got plenty to think about. I sense we all have a great deal to consider. I'd resolve to remain here until such time as Yulmore's future was secured, but it's clear to me now that the city is in capable hands. Can we return to Alize now? Can we go see baby girl? I have every confidence that they will find their way, and I believe it is time we went on ours. Oh, that's beautiful. That's really pretty. That was a really pretty shot. I can't even lie. Any crown zenith? I don't know what that is. Oh, Pokemon cards? No, I haven't bought Pokemon cards in like a year. I still have a bunch that are unboxed. I may just sell them. So Alpino's leaving too, is he? Seems like everyone's moving on. Everything's changing. I'm thinking about what I should do in all this. Like I told you, I spend most of my life dreaming about living here with my friends, in paradise. That paradise is gone, but something's better take but something better is taking its place. And I reckon I want to be part of it. This you more for the people Master Chai has been going on about ain't gonna build itself after all. Not that I'm much of a builder. Me and my friends will find a way to make a difference though. Help keep thi help keep things changing for the better. A far nobler dream than the one to which you clung before, and one I'm happy to say we share. Whatever path you choose, I will pray for your success. Well, when you put it that like that, there's no going back now, is there? We've got a few ideas on how we can do our bit. It's a matter of taking the first step. Good for you, bestie. Pain and pleasure. Oh, oops, my bad. Vows of virtue, deeds of cruelty. Alpino wears a satisfied smile, seemingly content with the state of Yulmore. Truly, to see Kai Shears, to see Kai Shear thus inspired by our actions inspiring in itself. Yet however much I may wish to stay and see what comes of his efforts here in Yulmore, we have matters of our own to attend to. Come, we should return to the Yay! 
My hat Beck Lug studies Beck Lug studies have borne fruit in her absence. Da -na -na -na. Okay, I'm I'm a little nervous. I'm scared because this can go in many ways. We either return to the source, all peachy, or someone dies on the way. Which knowing Final Fantasy fourteen is bound to happen. Or someone comes and interrupts us, delaying us further. I I'm scared. I'm I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. Cause this is called Vows of Virtue, Deeds of Cruelty. I'm I'm scared. Chat, are you with me? Are we good? Smile chat. Let me see those pearly whites. Let me see those cheeky little grins. <laughs> a smile better suits a spoiler. Do you have business with the Crystal Exarch? Just say the word and I would be happy to escort you to the ocular. All right, here we go. Is it voiced? Welcome back. We are given to understand a new mayor has taken office in Yulmore. Indeed, our good friend Master Chai was elected by a popular vote, and after some considerable soul searching, chose to accept the post. It is a shame you weren't able to attend his inaugural speech, though I have no doubt you will see more of him in the future. But tell me, how fared you preparing the White Aura site? Oh? Our- oh shit. Our work did not proceed quite as expected. In your absence, we had a frank discussion on the principles of soul transference, and concluded at length that White Orosite was ill-suited for our purposes. But Uriange, did you not say that, compared to the massy soul of an Asian, the stone could house one of or ours with ease? That I did, and armed as we are with Becklug's invaluable insight, it would indeed prove a trifling matter, were we to disregard the inviolable link twixt mind and soul, a link which would, we did belatedly realize, we weaken most perilously in the process of rending our souls dormant, or a sight doth require. Thus, the shedding of these fleshy simula simulacra, simulacra, and the surf and the surfeit, surfeit, I don't remember how to pronounce that, of ether which compromiseth them, would in all likelihood deprive us of our psychs as well. It would theoretically be possible to channel your minds into the aura site instead. We would more than likely sacrifice your souls in the process. Which is why we have abandoned that plan, and instead devoted our time to finding a means by which mind and soul might be transported together. And we are no closer to a solution than we first began. Why can't I just bring their bodies here? <laughs> it is a vexing conundrum indeed, but one for which the Crystal Exarch has decided, posited a most intriguing solution. When our discussions turned to the transference of memories and the psyche, I couldn't, or psyche, I guess, I could not help but be reminded of a technique which, with which I have personal experience. Pepper, do you recall what we learned of my eyes from our encounter with Doga and Nune? I speak of the royal eye of the Allegan Imperial Line. Oh, yes! Gifted to my forebearers through the blood and memories of the ancient Allegans. It is by this gift that I am able to control the Crystal Tower. If we were to gain an understanding of the technology by which the Allegans were able to accomplish that transference, people then... Perhaps then we can keep, wait. Perhaps then we could keep mind and soul together. Imagine, if you will, a device like unto a soul crystal, replete not only with our worldly memories but also the bountiful energies of the soul. That is our current avenue of investigation, and we will follow it wherever, wheresoever it leads. Oh, this song is so fucking good. This song is so good. And while we were thus engaged, I think it best the Pepper returned to the source and inform Kryle and the others of our findings. Agreed. I imagine Tatara will be relieved to hear we made progress of a sort. And then I would beg leave to re relay our findings unto Thancred and Reen, and to assist where I may in their investigation of the empty. Yes, please do. Should we have need of your counsel, we will not hesitate to summon you. Bye, bestie! Okay, well, this is not entirely what I anticipated. Give our regards to Tataru, won't you? Of course. I didn't expect this kind of failure. I thought it would be a little bit more dramatic, I guess. But in truth, I am 
honestly relieved. I'm honestly relieved that that nothing nothing dramatic has happened. So I hope. Please tell me nothing happened to Tataru. Oh god! I just remembered Xenos. Oh god, I just remembered Xenos! Oh nor. Please. 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 Please spare my baby. Please spare my sweet. Sweet Tataru and Kryle. Alright. Ah. Pepper, you're back! How did everything go in the first? Wait, don't tell me. Kryle will be here shortly and she'll want to hear too. She's just saying to the others. Their bodies, I mean. God, I don't think I'll ever get used to saying that. Anyway, you can tell us everything the moment she gets here. Now, this doesn't mean it's a bad thing. But I am scared. Chat, are we ready? Are you all ready? Have you peed? Do you have your snacks? Do you have your poop? I mean, did you poop? <laughs> are you all good? Let me see a show of hands. Let me see a show of smiles. Smile if you're ready. Okay, I'll turn up the brightness on my screen for this one. Let's see those pe- Is that an Orshifa emote? A smile better suits my sweet baby. Wait. I can't wait. I'm gonna be commissioning some Orshifa emotes too. I'm fucking stoked. Alright! Here we go, chat! It's recommended- Okay. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready, 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 I'm ready. Hi, bestie. Got lipstick on him. Sorry to keep you waiting. I've carried out the treatment as per Master Matoya's instructions. It should slow the destabilization of their corporeal ether quite significantly. But tell me. How fair are friends in the first? I'm glad we were able to at least solve that. So this Becklug's the first to lead an authority on Soulcraft, are they? Sounds promising. Mm -hmm. And Urianger's proffered solution of white orosite is rather ingenious now that I think of it. Well, while they press on with their preparations, you may rest assured we will continue to do our part here. Oh, you're back. Oh my god, Astinian! Oh my god! I haven't heard from you in so long! What's up, princess? And none the worse for wear, I see. Estinian! Oh, thank the gods! We've been worried sick. Did you lose your link pearl or something? The situation in Garlemald has become more complicated. I was making my escape from the capital when I ran into one of yours, Riol. He thought it best we come straight here. Got his voice? More complicated how? His voice? Wait, yeah, go on. Oh yes, oh my god. <laughs> Where to begin? I forgot about that kerfuffle. After entering the Empire via Razad Han, I went about my mission of investigating Black Rose. It was then, inside a provincial factory, that I encountered the one who styles himself Shadow Hunter. 
Gaius Baelsar. Our goals being apparently aligned, we joined forces and ventured on into the heart of the capital, to the very Imperial Palace itself. There, we found a man whom all assumed dead. I can't believe they nerfed his lips. Oh yes, tell us about but that. But his soul lives on, and he has rested back his flesh. Like how? Xenos Ye Galvas. How is Ashley Tisdale back? Nor did the surprises end there. For no sooner had we arrived than he murdered his sire in cold blood. Oh yeah. The Emperor is dead. They sent Gaius into a rage, and he charged in, blade drawn. Oh my god, is Gaius okay? Mr. Oh shit. Well, I'm about to find out now. What's wrong? Oh, the what's wrong? Oh, my heart. Oh, I. I've never heard someone interrupt one of those before, except for maybe Alize. The flashbangs. God, he's so fine. His sword. I've seen him in action. His body, at least. You will not best him alone. Nay, death will not come easily to that thing. If you would join me, then, by all means. The Black Wolf and the Azure Dragoon. I suppose this might suffice. Come then. pleasure of one's own flesh. Truly, there is no place like home. Abomination. Whatever he is, Pepper was barely a match for him. If we stay here much longer... Emperor Varus, your radiance, are you alright? Oh, shit. You may wear out our welcome. Your radiance? No! Ah, must even the most middling of sport be spoiled? Who will conspire to bore me? But I have no cause to remain. I leave these vermin to you. Now it looks like they killed him. Xenos! Are they gonna fuck him up? Yes, they are. Oh! Well, any bright ideas? Oh my god, so the Scions now have a marker, huh? Just one. They're gonna run now? They're gonna bolt? Yeah.
Your radiance! The intruders have taken flight. I repeat, the intruders have taken flight. Deploy all available Magitek armor. We cannot let them escape. Bruh. They're gonna be after me too now. Watch. Yo! Alert! Alert! Truce detected the Imperial Way! Okay. No problem. Okay, hello? Put that way, thank you. Oi! So cool. We make ourselves easy marks for them together. I just we split up. Oh good! Thank you! Alright then, I'll do the low road, so to speak. Alright, neat. Um I guess I'm going this way. Someone's been busy. Ayo. Hey, oh. Did I just see some booty? <laughs> this fucking song! And you'd bar my way, would you? So be it. This fucking song! Come, Ninhog, lend me your strength. Ooh! Ooh! All right, Ultima time, baby. This is fucking crazy. It's like Predator Ultima. God. So they're rebuilding Ultima? Okay, so what are these abilities now? What is that? What is that? What is that? Do I have a stock? Fun fact, this song makes me cry. 
I don't know why it does, but it just does. So every time I get the ultimate weapon in my roulette, I start crying. Oh, loading data sample. 14? They said the thing! Angry Salamander? That's the name of this ability? I'm not gonna be able to stabilize you. Wait, Lembus? Oh, hello? Oh, bro, my HP. My HP. I can't heal in this in this mid hog state. Terrifying. He's doomed now. I you know. Now that I think he's hot, he's gonna die. It was nice knowing you, Estinian. Maybe you shouldn't have been so hot. Maybe you'd live. Arlene's in their machina. No. Where are you, Gaius? That was fucking 
fun. That was a lot of fun. The goons are so cool. That too. Are you all right? That's debatable. Peer into my past, did you? Was I not allowed to? <laughs> Sorry. That's gonna pass up and I wash up. I gotta pass up and I go. Well, I didn't quite relive the experience as you did, but I bore witness to it all. I'm still not sure what I think of this gift of yours, but no matter. Our confrontation was cut short when the Imperial Guard arrived. It was then that Xenos took his leave, citing boredom. <laughs> to think their research into the Echo could bear such fruit. Escaping death, jumping from one body to the next, and returning to his own after all this time. He is an Asian in all but name. Mm. It beggars belief, I, But no more than a hero traversing the rift between worlds. My concerns are far more prosaic. With the Emperor dead and the Crown Prince missing, the Empire is in disarray. Until order is restored, assuming it even possible, we needn't fear an Imperial reprisal. And for reasons of his own, Xenos took it upon himself to rid the world of Black Rose. Riol has already gone to apprise the Alliance leaders of these developments. We may leave the matter in their hands for now. Then perhaps we have seen the last of the fighting at Gimlet. Though, if it comes to civil war, I cannot help but fear for the provinces. Ah, oh, I'd nearly forgotten to ask. What became of Gaius? Did he not escape with you? Did, we, did you lose him? That he did, but we parted ways shortly after leaving Garlemald. He claimed another threat had arisen which demanded his attention. He didn't elaborate, but the absence of some device or other in the capital gave him reason to believe they're planning something. Lest you worry, I believe he has well and truly shed the Black Wolf's pelt. Conquest is no longer his objective. We may safely leave him to his own devices. He's on our side, I guess. Well, it's nice to have one less foe to worry yeah. about, even if we do have a mysterious new threat to look out for instead. Speaking of which, I'll see that Riel and Al Shinobi are made aware, though we still know next to nothing. It can't hurt to be vigilant. Well then, with Black Rose nipped in the bud, I believe I've fulfilled my part of the bargain. Mm. That's true, but with the Archon still slumbering away, we were hoping you might agree to stay with us for a little bit longer. Are we gonna have to bribe you? Mr. Broody McBruderson? Sorry, but I'm not inclined to extend my contract. Gaius isn't the only one with business to attend to. What business do you have? Can I help? Thank you for your help then, Estinian. I see why Alphano admires you so. Oh, are you gonna tug those heartstrings? <laughs> <laughs> Farewell, my friend. See that you don't make a habit of dozing off in battle. I'll do my best, buddy. <laughs> I love that he's wearing like full plated like 
armor on his legs, but is wearing raggedy ass garb hmm. on top. <laughs> I suppose we should all be getting on then. As ever, we will see to the Archon's needs. In the meantime, why not get some rest? You've more than earned it. Go on. Damn. You must be shattered after all that hopping back and forth between worlds. Why not stay here and rest for a while? I'm sure Beckla can manage without you. They've got enough science to help them, if you ask me. Da -na 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 -na. Another cutscene. Meanwhile, in Garlemald. Let's see. Traitors! You would dare deny Lord Nerva the throne? You've got some nerve! <laughs> well. Well. Onward! Before this day is done, victory shall be ours! Ashley Tisdale. What's good, girl? Boring, boring, boring. Do you think I find it amusing? Like dogs herding cattle to the slaughterhouse. Who's this? Who's this? Who's this? Who's this? Who's this? White ass. Oh, that hue. Your soul is. Who are you? Is that not an Asian? No. Before your Majesty, I am but another dog, lost in want of a new master, a hunting dog, if you should wish it. So, well, if you should wish it, so. My bad. For I know full well the prey you would seek next. Zodiac. Oi. Oh no. No 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 no. Let's not mess with that shit, please. No, 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 no. Nah, nah, we're good, we're good, we're good. Well? Well? Who the fuck was that? Meanwhile, in Yulmore, in the first, oh no, or no, or no, 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 please be good news. Did you hear that? The mayor's reopening Daedalus Stoneworks, and they're looking for laborers. There's talk of resettling some of the old abandoned villages, too. They're even laying on free Talos to help anyone willing to make the move. Oh, Chad, I'm so fucking nervous. Free Talos? Ha! We'd best get packing. City work, board and lodging. If that's not a recipe for hope, I don't know what is. Yes, so long as I yet live, I would see that feeble flame rekindled. That's not Ardbert! That's not my Ardbert! That's not my Ardbert! It is my destiny to see our dream fulfilled. <gasps> what is happening? What is happening? What is happening? Oh, 
Or is it... alive in the flesh he's bumping he's kicking he's high school musicaling Artbert is back but like that's not Artbert because Artbert's spirit like is gone that's wayward warrior do you think someone created a vessel of him and is in it I have so many fucking questions. And they're building another Ultima? But this time there was like a Garlean like naked in it. I don't know if it if they died in there or if that's how they're powering it. It's Action Star Jones! Oh my god. I Ultima 2 War Crime Boogaloo! I need answers, but I do need to sleep. I I need to get at least eight hours tonight at the at the very least, which at this rate I'm not gonna be getting. So unfortunately, this is where we will be ending the stream. I need to fucking do my dailies too, but like whatever, I guess. Oh my god, I you know what, chat? I'll be back tomorrow. We're we're we'll start 5.2 tomorrow. Oh, no, but I have to do the roll quests and stuff. Oh my god, I have so many things to do. Okay. Oh my god. I don't know what to think. I'm speechless. How am I supposed to go to bed? I'm gonna be tossing and turning. Do you know how hard it is not to Google anything, by the way? Like, normally when I watch a movie or a show, I'm like, what does this mean? And I'm like, good. But with this, I can't Google shit. With this game, I have to sit there and go through it myself to get answers, which is fine. But still. Ugh. I... I can unlock the Shadowbringers trial series now. That's true. Do a roll quest before stream. Do you want me to do them offline? Y'all don't want to experience that with me? I can do them on stream. It's no biggie. We can do something casual. Like, I can just pull out, um... We can pull out Best Girl. Where's Best Girl? Seven years I've been playing this game and I still haven't run out of things to do. That's gonna be me. Look. We can just pull out Best Girl tomorrow. Pull out Best Girl, do the rule quests, and just vibe it out. Wait, are they still... Yeah, they are. Okay, is it gonna work though? What? I don't know why sometimes my thingy mabops don't work. Do I have to do that? I don't know why. I don't know why sometimes. Oh, there we go. But yes. So no MSQ and answers tomorrow. Mm, I'll see. I'll see how I feel. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe I'll be too tired. <laughs> uh, so you also still need to follow up on the two lesbian babies and their two gay dads. Wait, what? Who are they? Who was that? Two lesbian babies and they're two Oh oh my god uh Gaia and Reen and Urian J and Thancred. I do need to do more of the well I don't have I unlocked the rest yet? 
Oh, that's every other patch, so not yet. Yeah, that's after five points, right? Fuck. Okay, so we can't finish five. We can't finish that. But I do, I did unlock some dungeons, though. I have to do the awakening or whatever. But we got, we got some things. We got some things to do. So. We're chilling. We're good. Oh, man. Okay, chat. I am going to hop off stream. It is. It is Mimi's time. I'm gonna seep. I'm gonna seep so good. We're gonna go raid Todd. Let's go say hello. Thank you for the project check. I appreciate it. Thank you. Let's get the. You know what? Let's let's get the Syra. Um, this is fine. Emote going. Let's get that going. Let's have that be our new, our new raid. Our new raid thing. We just raid this because this is fine. <laughs> all right, y'all. Don't forget to follow me on social media and join my Discord server that we can stay up to date with all of my shenanigans, get notified on when I go live, and hang out with me and friends. If you see me online in the FC house, no, you didn't. All right, friends. I will see you tomorrow night. Bye! I have so many questions. I have so many questions. near purple. Make sure you're inside the hitbox.